The year is 2518. 300 years ago, the skies went black. Radiation forced all of you underground. Not you per se, but your ancestors. It's rumored that a dark evil drove humankind to their own destruction. The last holdout for humanity is the pit. Or at least the pit is not aware of any other holdouts that exist underneath the scorched earth. No one has seen the surface for centuries. It's forbidden. All of you were born to the pit, and so have the generations that came before you. You know nothing of the surface world other than stories, wild tales, and you understand that even wanting to see it is seen as ludic uh, ludicrous. It's just death. It doesn't exist anymore. This is your life now. The pit is divided into 10 sectors, with one being the closest to the surface and 10 being the lowest, all of which very low beneath the surface. Sector 10 is cold, damp. Sector 1 is warm, rumored to be filled with vegetation. Only those extremely fortunate would have ever possibly seen it, though. These are things you would know, information that would be known to you given that you've lived in the pit your entire life. Sector 10, <laughs> the slums known as vermin. Sector 9, the hive, the general population of the workforce of the pit. Sector 8, the bread, the market and all the market owners. Sector 7, the iron, your specialized workers. Sector six, the lock, seed storage. You would also know that no one is allowed in there. This is the second highest security next to sector one. Sector five, the couriers. Sector four, the temple. Sector three, the bulls. This is your security floor. Of course. Sector two, the voice, housing, or the clergy. And then sector one, the totem. None of you know exactly what's up there. Well, one of you knows someone who happens to be up there, but she's pretty good at withholding information. We'll get to that later. The four of you are gathered with security detail, of course, at the manager of Sector 5's office. Following the memorial of the service for Janice Humes. Janice was a dear friend to all of you. He was a courier. He treated you all as equals and left his mark on the pit, bringing a smile to all those that cross his path. Now, couriers are the only people in the pit besides the highest security detail and those that reign from the totem that are able to move between sectors at will. The office is dark, but all places down here are dark. It's a little fancier than what you could imagine though, given that he's the manager of this sector. The large man sitting behind the desk is holding a box. This is a wooden box with a digital lock on it. Do you four happen to know why Janice called for you? <sighs> Assuming we're close friends? I know I was. Yeah, we yeah. were friends. Yes. Uh, I no. mean... The four of you know each other? Well, no, we no. don't know each other, but we knew him. For no, I mean, who didn't know Janice, right? Nice Everyone guy. knew Janice. Yeah. He left a note in his locker with this box. Had all your names on it. Now, at first, I didn't think anything of it. But then, there you all were today at his service. And 
It seems only right that I pass it on to you. Box of mementos? What's in the box? Well, I guess we're it's about locked. to find out. Yeah. Oh. And considering this is the closest thing he's got to a last will and testament, I guess it's yours now. Is wow. there anything besides our names on the note? Yeah. Do you happen to know where the key is? You said it was locked? I figured one of you would have it. Does anyone have the key? I mean, but uh, you didn't answer. Is there, is there anything else besides our names f- sure. on the note? No, it's just your names All on right. a note with the box. I'm sure we'll find a way. He didn't give us the box without... Well, can we break if open if the box? Want, I, I don't, I don't really it. have a lot of time wasting on, on trying to figure out yeah. what's in a we'll box. We'll take the box. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, great. Yeah, is there a I room take the we box. can... Um, can you escort them back to their sectors, please? I don't care that... You, we're from different sectors? Well, um, y'all, well no, what sector y'all don't really from? look like you're... Ten. Ten? Where are you from? Oh, um, I'm, on nine. I'm sector four, so. Paul, where are you from? Nine. Oh, me too. We're oh, from right. the oh same actually, one. you're in sector seven. Yep, like I said, seven. And the oh, iron, never mind. Iron department. Yep. The two of you are sector seven. Thought I'd lie through that one. Yeah. Uh, we're in the same one. So you guys are different, but we're in the same. You're in well, seven, too? We've got something in common. Yeah. Oh, cool. Shall we yeah. try to open this before we get you're separated? Yeah, if there's a. Do you want me to use my screwdriver? You're on nine. You oh. reside in Sector 9. Me? Tutoring Your job is on Sector 4. Is on Sector four. 4. Got it. Oh, resident Sector 7. That is a true statement. So, yeah, okay. use my screwdriver to sure. spring it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, then. do all of us uh, then Springy live spring? on Sector 9? No, I, I live on Sector 10. I'm on Sector 7. I'm on But seven. you live? I you live on Sector 7? Yeah. Why? You have a different place that you work. If you notice yeah. on your sheets, you have your a different what? place. Your work can be in a different sector ah, gotcha. than your where you reside. Some of you work and live in the same sector. Others, like yourself, might travel up to sector four for your special job before okay. heading back down uh, at the end of each day to sector nine. You currently still reside on sector mm-hmm. ten um, for now. Okay. Given you're currently in training, you you're able to move a little bit. Okay. Between uh, that sector and sector two. Nice. Given your current work training. Very cool. Is there, uh, is there something in common between the four of us that we seem yeah. rather different here? Friends this guy with from Janice? This uh, yeah, uh, I, well, I, yeah I guess um, maybe besides friends. He's yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's a, a waiting room nearby that we can go to real quick just to like look at this box. Since we're all from different sectors. Yeah. You that know, makes sense. Let's but make this easy that's for That's a really us. good idea. What's your name, by the way? I'm, I'm J.I. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, I'm Sony Packard. Nice to meet you, Sony. Hey, JR. I'm JR. Oh, Bud Winnie. But all my friends call me Buddy. Buddy? So you buddy. can call me Buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Buddy and JR. Yeah, Great. Buddy. Sony. Sony. JR. Buddy. Oh, all right then, yeah. Now, something that you all yeah. would know is you cannot, some of you uh, could go up to higher sectors, but anyone that lives on a certain sector can go to lower sectors. Mm. So if you were wanting a place to meet that you would all be allowed to, you would have to go down to the lowest sector to do so. And this is something security would remind you of as they were ushering you to the freight elevators. Uh, uh, I like I said, I, I live in sector 10. Did you I guys want to? No, I'm seven. I try to uh, avoid my time in the slums, but um, fair enough. We need to. I understand that. Hey. All right. So sector 10 then, just to be able to, yeah, to do this box. All right. So I carry it to the freight. So you guys make your way over to the freight elevator. Security escorts you there. And inside the freight elevator, security takes out a badge, holds it up. It gets scanned, and they type in a number. As you then step outside, and the freight elevator closes and begins moving down. There's no controls inside the elevator that you would be able to operate. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just the panel, and it's on its way down. Now, each sector that you travel through is about 100 feet thick. Very large. So as you're going down from this uh, sector five, I believe you were in, and making your way down, it's a long trip. It's going to take you at least 10 to 15 minutes to make your way all the way down to the bottom at sector 10. Anyone got any stories about Janice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, actually, I that's kind of one of my things. I kind of specialize in that. Is stories in general. Yeah. You're a yeah. storyteller? History. History and stories in general. Yes, yes, I am. So uh, a storyteller and a tutor. And you know history. Great. Cool. Yeah, yeah, Super yeah. Super helpful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, Stor- 
Now, something that you all know that might be on your minds is that Janice fell into the pit. Now, at the center of this structure, right now you're going down a freight elevator, out to the outside of that freight elevator uh -huh. is the pit. All of the sectors are built onto the side of this pit, and it goes down for as far as you know, indefinitely. You can see no bottom. And we've just accepted it as just some bottom on this whole pit thing that's always been there kind of thing. Exactly. Gotcha. Above you, at the top of the pit, is a closed off cement wall. And before that is another cement wall and something in between that you're not necessarily aware of what goes on uh, behind those walls. Now, as far as looking down, it's just a bottomless pit. Now, this is quite strange because Janice has been working this line for a very long time. And he made that run every single day, moving between the different sectors as the courier. And somehow he fell to the bottom, his body unable to be uh. retrieved. Accidents happen. Wow. But how? Because yeah. he's... He was traveling... Never mind. Uh, you know, well, <laughs> it's not the, uh, the only story of someone falling into the pit that shouldn't have been there. That's that yeah. shouldn't have even been able to access the floor that do they you were think on. It, what do you think it was like? Suicide? Like He seemed like a happy Janice? guy. Yeah, exactly. No. That's what I mean. But why would he... Perhaps he tripped on his shoelaces? There are many tales. The there are many tales of people that will end up sacrificing themselves to then shed light onto a greater wrong. I mean, this like is... Like a martyr? Exactly. Like a uh, martyr, in a um, sense, where it's like... Like, in everything that we are involved in right now, where we have this box that we don't know how we're really going to open yet, and then we have this, this common friend... And I've got some tools. You can try some of my tools on the box. Sure. Uh, Kate, can huh? you go ahead, uh, make sure to read your character story, because there are things about your story that would help you in this box situation. Ooh. Um, so on your way down, it gets colder as you drop. It continues to get colder and colder as you go. Mm -hmm. And it, for some reason, gets damper as you go down as well. Um, there's not really been any sign of groundwater below the bottom sector, but you can always feel this kind of moisture coming out of the pit up mm -hmm. towards you. Mm. Yeah, welcome to uh, sector 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know they I grew up here. I don't even notice that thing anymore. But yeah, they say there's a lot of reasons why they decided to go this deep down. Oh. Yeah, no, what? a variety of reasons. But um, mm, uh, one of the ones, uh, one of the less happy ones, is that they wanted to keep the class system in place where Classes? You know, those class class like um mm, cast like a cast who's system. they who's they because like they in general like they the, the them the royal the, they if you will yeah the ones the and ones that built this the ones that decided who you mean lives on each sector who gets to you mean the do everything that they're going to do you mean like the, the clergy and the gate and the voice of god Sorry, I'm 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 I've I've entered the clergy up or, the place, or, so. you know, I don't just know, a anything people you guys that wanted are to damn us to all of this greatness down here. Uh Kate It's not so bad, Danny. You would know about the clergy, hundred okay. percent. Everybody would know about the clergy. Uh the clergy is a group of um religious workers that are given that the temple is one of the sectors, uh, as well as the voice. The voice is the housing for the clergy. Mm -hmm. Um they often wander the different sectors trying to spread the word of God. So yeah, I'm, I've just entered the clergy. Um, well, in training, I should say. So oh, lucky you. Well, hopefully, I'm ho I'm hopefully um, gonna make my way up to six at night. Too. Giant ray of sunshine, huh? Oh, well, I think the place needs more than. I'm kind of interested. Can you tell me? Um, I mean, I'm interested in all of you. I mean, and and you know how you know Janice in general. Can you tell me something about each of you? I'm a I don't know. I love words. Sure. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, I, I've just entered the clergy and, you know, the clergy. I, I'm not sure if anyone's come to your doorstep recently at all. I'm not home uh, a lot, but JR, it's, but it's I'm sure they have. Basically, the, we're synonymous with, you know, God and the kingdom of heaven. And we were selected by uh, the gate and uh, yeah. the holy. The, cler the clergy always wander the sectors in groups of three, two, um, kind of returning clergy members and one in training uh, at all times. And there's always at least every group has one in training with them. Hmm. And they wear long red robes that cover their entire body. 
and um, they do show their face, but it's often shadowed as the robe hangs heavily over their head. I mean, I'm still in. I'm still shadowing, so I'm still working on my pitch. But um, gotcha. Yeah, oh, but okay. essentially, it's it's. You so know, you're the, the you're the final in. of the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the I'm the one of there, the groups. So. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, and then we met uh, Janus, you know, obviously him doing his career stuff. And he was, I'm still trying to, um, I was tr still trying to, like, share the voice with him. But, uh, I mean, but Maybe he was a ray of... he jumped in. Well, he, oh, was wow. he was still a ray of sunshine, even without being, you know, being held by, you know, the glory of God. Gotcha. I just did runs with the guy. I, I deliver... He delivers. See, uh, our paths would cross every now and then. He's a cool dude. I don't have a lot of friends. I liked him. It's not bad. He wasn't annoying to listen to. Uh, and what what was your name? I, I don't think I caught it before. I'm Brady. 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 Nice to meet Brady. you, Brady. Brady. Pleasure. Nice. The Buddy. freight elevator Brady. comes to a stop as the doors open, and there's a small kind of area out in front of you uh, with some concrete benches and tables before you get into the deep kind of housing of the vermin, the slums. Uh, it's very dirty down here. There's lots of trash, lots of things. It doesn't seem like people come often to clean mm. this area up. Uh, you guys probably aren't, don't expect this, so let's just... Uh, shall we do it in these uh, this, uh, this row of benches here? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. I'm all good with this. Anything now, how do we faster? get into this magical, what kind of mysterious lock is that? box? Hmm? What kind uh, of lock is that? It's a, so it's a digital lock. It's um, Digital uh, lock. Oh, wait a minute. Did you do... Can yeah. I have a look at that? Yeah. Have you tried right. one, two, three, four? Good suggestion. Thanks. But actually, if you hadn't noticed, I'm a girl. And I didn't tell you because the elevator opened, but I'm a forklift driver. Really? And there aren't oh, usually okay. girls on the forklift team. True. But I hacked into the system, changed oh. my ID. And ah. there was a shortage, so not much of a fight so to put up. they didn't notice when you got there? Oh, yeah. Okay. But there was a shortage. Oh. Yeah. So they needed me. Lucky. Yeah, anyway, well. I'm good at hacking. Let's try this. Great, That's, uh, buddy. That's really great of you because usually the women are the administration level and ruling everything here so yeah you oh hacked yeah. your way because you know it just makes driving? sense she just put yeah, that well, out there that <laughs> so it's, it's she put it out there but yeah. unfortunately that that's make a roll for it zach make uh -huh. a roll <laughs> that's just a rumor <laughs> what is it you know uh, it's one of the many things that i feel is completely true uh there's a lot of things that i feel are true and you know uh, this is a dystopian true world right not a picture perfect world <laughs> <laughs> which should be brought together by the female of the species in any case <laughs> hey, I, didn't, I didn't really introduce myself um yeah like i i said before i'm a sony yeah i um i'm i'm a historian oh. uh in the sense that um i've had to couple together history in general and i impart that on to my students. So I guess um, you can call me, uh, the, the old word for it was teacher. Mm, um, I teacher. prefer weaver of tales. Mm. I like it. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, you know, so mm. that's, that's what I do to get by. Do you share with them who you are the tutor for? Nope. Okay, good. Um, so do you want to roll for that hack? Yeah. Yes. Oh, first on the dice cam. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> Gives us. So there are 10 D6s that are being rolled. Oh, no. Okay, so we got, I've got one, hang six. Where's the dice cam? One, six, three, <laughs> one. How can you see that? Where is the dice yeah. cam? It's now like you I just got see. these can nice tick. Hey, why don't you focus okay. on the show? Let <laughs> Naeem focus on what he's doing. <laughs> but now but we, we, got three ones, we got three ones and you one have six. three hope. Three available. ones. Let's do it. Okay. I'm up doing it. Up to you. It'd right. be a bit too early to roll oh you Oh, no. We uh. All right. So we're losing one. Okay. So sorry. Right. There's one six and the rest are just numbers. So Sorry. you unlock the box. Boop, boop. It was uh, quite easy. Hacking. Right. Told you. Yeah. That was actually impressive. Thanks. Yeah. I'm glad that we have, uh, you know, one of your type down here on the level with us because everybody else is up in the administrative levels. We're ruling the place. Yeah. You don't <laughs> want that to be true. Okay. I just <laughs> I like that my kids just putting nice stuff out there, like I'm filling out the really world am. with just <laughs> I would um, to rule the room. Buddy, I yeah. am amazed. Thanks. Showing hey, yeah, So yeah. inside this box, as you open it up, is another note. And that's it. It's Great. just a piece of paper with handwritten uh yeah. handwritten. I got to open it. You wanna read it? Did you want to <laughs> No, you go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm saying I did one thing. Oh, I see. Oh thank you, buddy. Sharon, yeah. It says you four 
are the key to the gate, the door, and the lock. You four are the key to the gate, the door, and the lock. Door, lock. This came to me, comes to me. I know my end is near, all of it wrong. Nothing special about us, our saving, just a matter of proximity. Not like the devil would burn himself. I honestly feel bad for you four as I have misled you. I befriended you because you all have special privileges, capabilities that if used together can stop the Synchronity Project from launching. This knows. To close the loop, ignore God. It is no more God than we are its passing thoughts. We brought this on ourselves. They will come for me soon. I know too much. I hid four courier badges for you inside of my bunk. It's up to you, Brady, to get those others up there. Ah, crap. Trust each other. Stop the rocket from crossing the gate. And close the loop. Stop rocket from crossing the gate. Now, mentioning Synchronity Project, and, there, and you're reading this whole note out loud. Yeah, yeah, then, of, course, of course, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, given that you are a man of the clergy, there might be some <laughs> things in there. Yeah. But also, um, you all have heard rumors of the Synchronity Project. Okay. It's not been 100% confirmed by the establishment, but everyone's heard of it. This is a project that involves building a spaceship uh -huh. that could get us off planet, the entire colony. Now, this has been a rumor that's been around at least for the last hundred years, but nobody's seen updates. Nobody's actually seen the ship, except those that are allowed in the top number one sector. These are things you would know. Yep. I'm so, so disappointed. So, I'm so obviously, the dude was crazy. Yeah. No. Uh, I, I agree. This makes sense, though. I agree. Does it make I mean, sense, you, really? You, There's a ship the that's going to take us off the Earth that we've been talking about for the last hundred years. Come on. Yes, the Synchronity Project. <sighs> I mean, you. everyone has heard about this, where this is, this is the, the last hope the last great hope of humankind for us to get off of this planet, to get off of these dank levels, to be able to go into the stars and then to Here's be the able thing. to you take over the sky the word. and the galaxy. You said the word, it's hope. You need hope to try to survive in a place like this. There is nothing, we're nothing. <laughs> no, there we is. We got screwed over, now we're all stuck down here and he had the right idea to kind of fix it all. No, Brady, so this, this is a fact. This is a fact. I know for a fact that the Synchronity Project exists. And by that, I mean I've heard a lot mm. about it. Spaceships. Mm -hmm. A lot spaceships. about it. Yes, this spaceship yeah. to Buddy's take us into the stars. You. Yeah. RJ? Uh, no. No. Hey, I, you, this, I, I'll be honest. This really saddens me. He said he used us. He was saying to ignore God. He's, uh, I feel like I don't know the guy anymore, to be honest with you. I'm, uh, he is crazy. I'm, I'm with you, uh, Bailey. <laughs> and he wants me to go sneak it into his bunk. Exactly. To do something badges. illegal. That probably don't even exist. Right. I complete, I'm with you, Brady. It, uh, you know, I think it's best that we just part ways. I anyway. don't know you. I hardly knew him. Yeah. Hey, There's no well, spaceship. This hey, is hey, James. Yay. Hey. James. Hey, hey, hey. Now, this is an old friend of yours. Okay. This old friend that you would like recognize. Old from my past? Like he old? is old, or yeah. <laughs> you know what kind of old I'm talking about. Gotcha. You recognize this guy as Ronnie. All right. Uh, James. No, I think you got the wrong guy. Ronnie. No, no, James. Who are your friends? I haven't I, seen this I, lot you down know in what? Uh, I, I, They're Sector not my friends. Before. I don't know them. I'm, we're just about, about to part ways. I'm um, really... Hello, I'm Sony. Oh, great. Here she goes again. So weird. Nice tales. to meet you, Sony. Nice to meet you. Such a big smile you have. Oh, indeed. It's because... What the fuck's wrong with this girl? I just met her, Ronnie, and it's been ah. ages. Oh, now you remember me. It's too good now for us now. You, like. join the, you join the clergy and all of a sudden... The rest of us down here are just Who's this guy? He's got a lot of energy. He, oh, he's got too much energy. Quite a lot. Not the, right, like not the a right kind of energy you want to be. Sounds like there's a dark past between the two of you. Can we? Ronnie and, and JR. Yeah, JR. Ronnie, wh James. What, what do you want, man? I just want to meet your friends. 
Bring in some new what people do you want? down to the uh, sector. It's not, no, you, uh, you want something worth, from them. Are they looking for work? Are you all looking for no, work? They're oh, no, they're not looking for employed. work. They've, they're all employed. Yeah, they don't want any of your kind of work. Right you now. might be employed, but do you need more work? No, they don't need opportunities. You do not full, want actually, any yeah? kind of I don't think I've got time for anything now. No, no, no. Sounds like a font of information. Full of engagements. Ronnie, we were just headed this way. Um, We were going to talk about this letter. And what, what letter? And he Why reaches out and that? grabs it out of your hand. <laughs> See, uh, oh, it's a bit snatchy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great. But, uh, Interesting friends. Little snatchy. From snatchy. I have an idea that they aren't really good friends. Just Jan guess. This from Janice? Oh, uh, let me guess. You know Janice too? Everybody knows Janice. Why yeah. does everyone know Janice? Yeah. Because uh, Janice, he was amazing. Uh, right. Killed himself, right? Jumped into the pit. I think he tripped on his shoelaces. That is what they are saying Fortunate now. Accident. Yeah, why don't yeah. you uh, go take a look? No. Go uh, see what's down there. Accidents happen. Ronnie, what's this, what's can this we get that back, man? Uh, shut the fuck up for a little bit. What's this here about, uh... I'm guessing you're Brady. I'm guessing you're annoying. Yes, we can all what's make guesses. What's this here about you, uh... It's more than annoying. Being able to get some courier badges out of Janice's room. Guy was crazy. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Thinks yeah, but he, spaceship. whether or not he's crazy, he believes that you can get them. That you have the ability to access something like this. Why do you care? You know how much something like that's worth? This is not going in the right direction. Uh, Shut the fuck up. Now, Brady. Can we, have, can we talk for a little bit? Just you and me? Oh, listen. Come here, come here, come here, come here. All right. Watch yourself. He kind of pulls you off to the side. And as he does, three more figures kind of come out from behind one of the slum shacks. And they're looking at you. He makes sure that you notice them. So what is this? Uh, what, what do you do? Doesn't matter what I do. No, it matters what you do. Because apparently you have the ability to get these badges. I am me. And I can do whatever I want. And you... Can no, you can't do whatever you now. want. You can't do whatever. No one can do whatever they want. That's not an option. But you seem to got a real big head on your shoulders. You seem to think that you have this uh, ability to do whatever you think you can. You can't do shit. Here. You're, you're, you're here on Sector 10 now. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm on your sector, but I ain't vermin shit like you are. Oh, okay. Now we're going to have a problem. Now we're going to have a problem. You're going to tell me how you can get those badges. Or you're going to get them for me. Either way, those are your options. Anything other than that. You're not going to make it out of this sector alive. So you come to me, and you want something from me. Do you know what happens when people me? die in Sector 10? Fall into a pit, apparently. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing happens. They don't come down here. Well, who are you? What do you do? What, what's your story? Talk to me like we're friends and everything. Hey, JR. Yeah. Come here. I walk over. Can we hear any of this? No. All right. JR. And Ronnie. another one walks over. And the two of us are left alone, buddy. Why didn't you tell your new friend here why it's smart for him to fall in line? <sighs> Brady, you don't know. Like, this is probably the first time you stepped into Sector Ten, man. This is you don't. This is a world you have never been into. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I didn't want us to stray too far from the elevator, but obviously we got in too far, dude. <sighs> this is why you don't come down this? to Sector 10, because you got to deal with grime like this. I didn't like expect this. the guy to be right outside the freight elevator, but I, let me give you, I don't know you, but let me give you the best piece of information you probably will get in your fucking life right now. Those three guys and him, if he wants, you're dead. You're not going to be heard of again. No one's going to know. They're going to disappear like the shadow, mm -hmm. okay, man? Just like that. These and three I guys. All right. Look at you. Looks like you've got a reputation about yourself. Can you roll for me? Yeah, I'm rolling. It's my first time. Good luck, man. Do I have oh, success? very decent roll. Do okay. we have any hope? You have no hope available. <gasps> oh, sorry. So uh, we. T oh yeah, we took out one. Wait, wait. You guys had to take out a dice because we one came out of oh. here, and so. One oh, we share dice like that. Take out oh. this dice. Mm -hmm. This is our new time using the Make system. Make him roll again. But no, no, no. Put that back. Put that back. 
But we now accept the new system that was in place, and we are taking this dice hey, out. Hey, Zach, it's sick to ten. Show them sick to ten rules here. <laughs> no, it was like, we, we accept. This it was sick to ten Josh's rules. first time. I understand, but he has a veteran sitting next to him, so why don't you go ahead and remove that die? And re-roll that entire hand. Right. Oh might. my God! That's you gotta, you gotta play by the six to ten rule now. You got, you got Brady here. He does it once. He does it twice. Oh no! Why would he mean no? Look at all those sixes. Look at these two ones. Oh yeah, but look at all those sixes. <laughs> Maybe it might be a good idea to burn something. To Already? Keep the. See, but I have to beat his sixes, right? He doesn't. Otherwise, have no, no, no. But we, you lose, lose the ones. We lose yeah. a total of three uh, dice. So the next time we roll, so it's just going to be enough. So the next time we roll, we only. Okay. No, you we don't only have to. It's up to you. You don't it's have your to. Call. It's totally up to you. You can say no. I'm going to say no. Good. I'm okay. A, okay. Cool. I'm a uh, then I, then I, then so I will we take say up two here. you have four sixes, so that is huge. Okay. You can. So you can say. You can say what happens. He goes, as you say this. You catch out of the corner of your eye him pulling a shiv out of his pocket as he goes to pull you in and stab you in the stomach. What you happens? Are, you are the Terminator. Uh, super observant. See it happening. Uh, based on past experiences, I know how to fight. Grab his wrist. Throat punch. So you just punch him in the throat. Punch the throat. You can pull happens? a shiv on me. And what happens? You got four sixes. What happens? <laughs> he drops to the ground. Uh, other guy goes to grab his shiv. How about those other? I look at him right now. Guys. How about like, those other? There's three guys. So how, what happens to them? <laughs> you got four sixes. All right. So I punch the guy so hard. Send a message. <laughs> look at the other okay. guys go to make the move. I'm like, uh-uh. We're done here. Mm. If you want to say what you need to say, mm. I'm tired of this conversation. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't? No, four sixes? No, no. I'm just saying, like, I'm going back in. RP no, mode it's okay. Now. No, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. He I'm opened up a conversation. Yeah, yeah. And I'm That's just how he ended his Right, action. right. And Ooh. I'm just saying it doesn't work that way, dude. I'm tired of this conversation. What do you want so that I can go? So Ronnie is on the ground. And the other three come to, like, rush in. And he puts out his hand. And he stands back up. And he turns and walks away and kind of slides between a couple of the shacks I into walking the slums. Because I know what's going to happen. And then the other three kind of back up, kind of into the shadows. And you're kind of left standing there with, uh, with JR. Sorry, did you say there was the three? They left. Okay. They've all left as far as you know. They've backed Dude, away. Dude, I have. I come over. Okay. Um, so do Sony and Buddy yeah, saw yeah. all of that. I, I come over, yeah. Yeah. That I, looked intense. I have yeah. never seen... Okay, I grew up with these guys. I ran. With they these seem guys. like real nice people. They're I've the heard worst kind of. I've heard stories of Sector Ten. And those they came from, stories came from them. I, stories came from us. We. Wow. No, this is exactly this, how people say that it goes. And this you is why he was you having. Don't go to Sector Ten. Let's I'm heading back upstairs. Scuffle? You know what? What was that I'm scuffle you just had? Well, are you are you heading upstairs to Janice's room? We're gonna. We have to continue. The story we have if, to if, we have to continue. We have to find these courier badges. That's what gets me out of this stupid slum. Then fine. Let's go upstairs to his bunk, and then we can all see can that I, there's nothing there. But also, can I say that it's not over? When he went like that, you're gonna. I mean, it's death, doesn't it? <sighs> it does mean death. And that's what all okay, the stories say. Okay, and also oh. the stories being that they they have people, they have connections as high up. People in they have connections. These guys down here have connections where I'm at. I don't think so. No, no, no. I've got connections. No, 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 no. They don't got I'm anything. I'm just saying these people from higher up hire these people from lower to get to b get their hands dirty. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Can so you they used to be one of these guys, Mr. Clergyman over here. You found the gate. You found the light. Jr., were you a gangster of a type, and then you became a holy man, I like like in the in the way back when when look this uh, is the tales of Stephen Listen, Seagal? that was a whole lifetime ago. But mm. I'm okay, just saying that's the only one. I I'm won't just do it. Now I won't that do they it know, I'm just saying now that they know what they've these four career badges. You know what they could do with that? That's like they were saying. You had to show them the letter. It was a piece I of did paper it. you couldn't keep to yourself, and now I'm stuck. With the four of you, you and this guy over yeah, here. You are. By and the way, he didn't take the paper back from him, so that paper's gone. <sighs> okay. And that means I'm well, just, a lot of things. I'm just saying that we're suddenly we're all way deeper than if we had just left. Yes. 
fully aware of that. Well, now that they have the paper, if by any small chance there is actually something in his bunk, we need to get there now just to make sure those doofuses don't get to it. Did that paper have our names on it? Yes. Oh, we, we have to go. First and we last to, name? We have to go now then. It didn't have, that paper didn't have your names on it. Oh, okay. It. The paper from before did. Who's the only the name that was on there was Brady's. Oh, great. Well, we need why don't to get we go get the Look. IDs and then tell security about their plan and then they'll get arrested while we're going yes, to the other place? Yes, that feels like that's exactly how you down here can, works. You, yeah, exactly. You, yeah. You're never going to catch them. I'm just uh, saying, you're never going to catch them. If there's why are they something, catch them? if we there's courier badges. The other place. Yeah, yeah they are. exactly. Yeah, if, let's if there are courier badges, let's just go get them. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. And then get ahead of them because what are they going to do? They're not going to do anything if we're up there. And see if there's another clue in this tale let's, that we are a part of. There's go. no clue, but yes. Okay, so what did he say? It's it in the letter that you can get these career badges and we were supposed to do what with them? Stop the launch? Spaceship? Stop the yes. Yeah. You know, the launch Ignore that's God. definitely going to happen. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> the spaceship that's supposed to take us to the So, stars. Brady, um, he said that you had an idea of how to get these. Do you have an idea? Well, I've You're got access. Crew? What? You're a crew? Yeah, I'm crew. Where do they keep the IDs? Well, you just go there and pick them up. No, so... Oh, no, these, ones seem to be, uh, these ones seem to be hidden in his bunk. So, Brady... So, these ones... What? Yep. What's interesting, and you can choose to share this with the rest of the group gotcha. or not, is that you're not exactly sure why he would say you could have access to that because you only have level 7 clearance, mm -hmm. but he's on level 5. Oh, is he? So... Even though you knew him and you do, you give deliveries to the courier service, uh, you wouldn't have access to level five. So he might be talking about something else that would give you the ability to find a way in. And courier, they'd come down to seven and I would drop off to them and then they'd move it. They'd right. move it. Uh, here's the thing. I don't really know how I'm supposed to get to his bunk. He's on sector five. I'm on seven. I don't really have access up there. What was I he? What was he talking about? I can. Well, I might have a few connections that go to other levels. Maybe I can maybe stop at home and and just get this over with really quickly. I think that's if we just get this over and done with. Uh, I think that might be the best thing for all of us. I'm so sorry that I, I, I dragged do you guys work into at this. That was at me. Sector Four, but he didn't name me in the note. So well, I mean, I've I been. I don't up have to. I've oh, if you work on a sector, you can only go to that sector. Mm. No, you as far as as far as living, as far as other sectors around it, it's where you're living. So if okay. you live on Seven, you can go lower. But if you work on Level Four, you only have a permit to get up there for your job, gotcha. and you have to go All back right. to your where home do you sector. Live? I live on sector nine. Nine. Yeah. Great. So I live on sector nine. So I'm the highest bit here. Yeah. At seven. Indeed. All right. Uh, you are the forefront. They can't. You are the vanguard. I don't want them to go to my house. <laughs> Buddy is also a level seven. Let's just get to my house. Wait a second. Can't you just like I don't know hack us in or something? Is that I how that works? I mean, I yeah, mean, basically. You were named in the note, though, I Brady. I was named. I don't even like so that. i got to say, I've got some Janice reservation. I left this illegal activity thing way behind me. Yeah. Um, Everyone's and then mistakes. you brought us down here. How about we proceed to uh, Sector 7? Let's go to 7. And then we yes. continue our journey from Maybe there. I can get something from home that will uh, get us to 5. But don't come into my house. I don't. I don't need or want that. We oh, can stay outside. Do you not uh, have any food or refreshments of which to regale us with while we are uh, in correctly. your domicile? Also, uh, you know, I, I have a, a no annoying policy. Anything that kind of bugs me, I, I don't let it to come into my house. I think you can understand. Everybody that. needs yeah. their safe space. Mm, yes, it's my safe, safe space. Mm. All right, let's get up there. All right, Doesn't Jr. You would not be able nice? to go. What? Why not? He uh, can't get up to level seven. You know what? Oh, um, he's not even to visit. No. What about oh, her? Oh, then I wouldn't be able to either. I live no. in Sector 9. Okay. Mm. Looks you know like you're going to need those four badges. I'm going to stay down here. Gotcha. I don't know, you might have some way for me to come up to your house or outside your house, but I'm staying here. I'm like, I'm just not All gonna. right. I'll uh, come and get you. Actually, don't go too far, just in case th this Is does work. Are people allowed pets? Pets? And pets? No. How would okay. he? Um, uh, I, have, um, I have a, s a, a plant. To um, to water, so I have to go home. How would ah yes, because yes, all the sunlight your plant gets. The um, only, as mentioned before, the only place with vegetation is sector one. Darn it! Is there any way for I I have important <laughs> things to take care of at home, 
All right, buddy. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, depart from now. Is there any way for them to contact us via, like, communication-wise, or no? Not at the moment. Guys, uh, uh, you know what? Um, Maybe there's a his business card? He's the clergy on sector... This, this is the clergy on sector 10. He's the address. If you... Is that where I'm going to find you? Well, you know what? You don't have to if you don't want to, and I would be actually Just um, here pleased that you don't, but... Keep yourself safe from dude, that. I'll be fine. Dude. I've... Here are I'll my be, contacts. This is for I grew up here. I'll be fine. Here are my contacts. My um my sector nine address and my sector four um place of business or any down. kind of courier messages. So you are do if give them the sector four place of business. Well, just the place of business. Okay, not and I, I write it down in a notebook. All right, great. We are yeah. definitely coming back um, for you if I actually find badges. Can Don't you worry about that. Brady, roll for me really quick. No, for I'm this is gonna be kind of dice. a this is gonna be kind of a knowledge roll. All right. Do I lose dice on knowledge rolls? Probably. Yeah. How many <laughs> dice do we have? No. I see si uh, seven. seven. Okay. We've got. Yeah. I see a one. There's a one. Do we have any? You have hope? one hope of it. Oh, oh God. thank you, hope. Reroll the one. Chat. Re -roll Reroll the one. One. <laughs> <laughs> one? Yeah. That banked off the wall. That's not cool. Do you have any? You have no sixes. We have one wait, six. Wait, wait, got a six. Oh, you do have a six. We were trying to keep the dice. Oh, so we're removing a die now? We're removing a die. We unless, are? Um, Another unless one? Josh yeah. wants to burn. Every one, every one that you roll, okay. it's removed. Unless Josh wants yeah. to burn his Does it make sense to burn No, them? it doesn't. Usually it doesn't? you'd burn it if a trait, if you've got multiple ones. Like if it's yeah, like that. Man, okay. I okay. wouldn't do so. it. Oh, sorry. All right, so four dice out. It's his fault. He keeps making the roll. <laughs> <laughs> Six on the first chapter. Oh. Uh, Brady, when she hands you the address for the... Um, Sector four mm -hmm. location and the school. You recognize this as something your father's talked about before. Hmm. Gotcha. As a place where all of the bourgeois high and mighty <laughs> send their kids for private tutoring. Uh, uh, this is where only the most special of the special go for schooling for their children. Cool. Uh, look at the address. Huh. Look at you. Maybe more important than I actually thought. Yes, I am not just more than a pretty face, as the saying goes. All right, hey, buddy. I'm a font of information. You want to uh, take a trip up to seven? Yeah. Great. <laughs> so the two iron workers make their way up to I seven. Get dropped off at nine. Um, <laughs> I walk back to. <clears throat> without security clearance, one of the interesting things is that you will have to take a separate freight to get up. I will take a separate freight to go to nine. Unless you have proper security clearance giving you that ride in the first place. A lot of time spent waiting for travel between the different sectors. It's not encouraged in the first place, so oh. it's not something that's necessarily a worry. As a lot of people at higher levels don't make their way down to the bottom anyway. So, you two make your way up to sector seven. Do what are you I, doing? Am I walking into, like, is there any player knowledge that I know about that I'm walking into the, like, do I have an idea? Of where things are? But, or like, um, because he said that, that I have a way of getting to five. Do I actually have an inkling of how to get to five? Um, your father. Okay. If, you know, okay. if. Is there anything I could. If stealing was of an option. Gotcha. Okay. As, yeah. So I'll walk into that situation. Yeah. Um. All right, buddy. Do you want to come? I gotta go to my house real fast and. I can come over. <sighs> just keep. It's it nice of you to invite me over to your house. Just keep Especially it down. Especially when I don't want to have to didn't go. Want people over. I don't want to have to go really and nice find you. you have to. Okay, I'm gonna re I'm gonna take this invite back real fast here. You coming or oh, not? Yeah. Okay. So you both start making your way through seven now. Seven is the iron ore um, mines. All the iron workers live in this sector. Um, and the people who work with the iron workers. Iron has been getting pulled out of the side of this cavernous space for as long as the space has been here. Now, where that iron is going, given that they've mm -hmm. not built any new additions, who's to say? The iron gets shipped off, the couriers help divide it through and push it through to the other sectors. You, yourself, are a forklift driver, and you are one of the drivers that takes what's loaded into the trucks and takes it to the courier service on the outside of the sector. That's cool. Um, the houses in this sector are very small. 
dirty, covered in all sorts of dirt. Uh, there's no reason to clean this sector as it's just a laboring sector and lots of other small kind of bar-like establishments along the way as well just to keep the workers happy. Now, on your way to your place, uh, you don't encounter any sort of resistance, anything like that. It's a pretty easy trip just making your way through. I would remind you that it is a Saturday, um, so the mines are shut down at the moment, given the reason that you're able to be walking around in the first place instead of working. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You also know that your father's home on the weekend. <laughs> Great. Um, all right. Uh, so when, are, are we at the house? Did yes, we get to the house? sure. All right. If that's um, where you want to go. So, fun fact. Not a big deal. Live my dad. Dad's kind of a big deal around here. Um, maybe you do me a favor. I don't want to explain why I have, you know, friends now. So just give me a second. Let me walk inside and see if I can get us to five. We're friends. I already regret this. So you open the door. Your father is sitting and reading a book. He's got some form of alcohol with him. Uh -huh. uh, you're not exactly sure what he's drinking this time. How is the service? You know, quick. Done. Yeah. Heard he killed himself. Yep. Surprised mm. it didn't happen faster. Yeah, he was always kind of a kook, wasn't he? Yeah. Anyways, how was your Saturday? Hello. Oh, God, you came in. Great. <laughs> Do away. Fun, Winnie. It's, uh... You can call me Buddy. I'm Buddies with you. Buddy, so I can be your buddy, too. I'll just wait uh, out here. Don't worry. It's Buddy. Met at the service. You know, some people took it harder than... You were making they. friends at a funeral. Yeah, really trying not to. From the same sector. Anyways. We're, I uh, could gather that much. Uh, we're just, uh... Just had to grab some of my stuff. Gonna, people are from the service are hanging out. Thought I'd get some food with them. Yeah. Any, um... You know... Possibility that this man killing himself push you to apply yourself a bit? Nope. If anything, I think I just found a way out. Oh, look at that. That was a good joke. Mm. You know, as long as you continue to work in this sector, I'm forced to live here. So sorry about that again. I'm sure you are. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? No. If you would just accept the offer... How about, uh... We could be away from Buddy. Oh, now it sounds tempting. All right. Uh, how about you, uh... Going through a rough time with this. I lost a friend today. So, uh, why don't you, uh... Maybe... Uh, a friend? Yeah. You know, me and... What was his last name? You know. James. <laughs> yeah. Really? I but didn't know that. Yeah. There you go. Not a lot of people knew his actual last name, did you? No. Do you know mine? No. There you go. Happens. Nope. Yep. Anyways, anything else you need to know? Dad? Sounds good. I'm going to get back to reading. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go grab some of my stuff. Oh, by the way, it's Hume's. It was printed in the paper this morning. Mm -hmm. Like I said... Some people pronounce the J separately. <coughs> uh, yeah. As you were. Okay. Uh, you nice can follow you, him Brady's wherever dad. the hell all he's right, going. Uh, okay, all right, I'll go. Good to meet. Really? All right. What happened? Now, to invite your dad to dinner? Nope, nope. nope. What happened uh, to the whole wait outside thing? Well, I stood in the doorway. I didn't uh, come in. Okay. So That's your house, mm -hmm. we'll call it a shack. Small. Very small. Dad's uh, there. All yeah, of them right. are. Uh, it's kind of built into the side of the mountain. Keeps it regulated temperature-wise. Concrete, we'll say one small room in the entryway. Three bedrooms. When your mom was alive, she had one of them. She's been gone for a while now. Gotcha. Um, now, 
my character knows that uh, there's something I could probably grab from my dad's room. Considering he's off work at the moment? Does that mean, based on the structure of the house, is that something I can kind of slip in and grab it before? The rolls would decide that. Mm. <laughs> mm. What if, uh, what if uh, Buddy goes to uh, distract him? Does that help the rolls? Let's play it out and see. All right, so... Do so you want me to, like, wait in the doorway then? Or should I, like, go here around the corner of the street? Or can I come in? Door? Here's the thing. Come, what? come, oh, get over all right. here. Thanks. So, my dad is head of security oh. here in the pit. So I think he's got a badge in there I can use to get us up to five and go check the bunk out to see if there's anything there. I'm going to need a few moments. Do you think you and your friendly nature could make friends with that guy? <laughs> Give me a few minutes here. So you need to get something of your dad's, but yes. you don't want to ask your dad for it? Yes. Do so you want me to talk to your dad while you get it? Yes, and I'd, yeah, also like, uh, I'd also like to mention that maybe you don't mention what we're doing here. I'm honestly not sure what we're doing, but I'll do what you want. Okay. All right. Run with that. Yeah. Okay, good. So, so Mr. Brady's dad. What What'd you do for a living? Should, Sorry, I didn't catch I it. Should I roll? While looking? While we'll she's let this play out a okay. little bit. Don't ask to roll as well. Oh, <laughs> gosh, gosh. I, I love that Mike is the person that said that. Yes. <laughs> he didn't tell you who I am. Well, I just thought he doesn't, nice to and you don't recognize. Start a conversation. Yeah, you know, I'm. You can call me Buddy, and I'm a forklift driver. You're Mister Brady's father, man. So. Yeah. 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 Got buddy. Saturday off. It's good. It's nice, isn't it? You're... I remember you. You do? Yeah. It's nice? It's like five, six years ago, a little girl that hacked into the forklift interface. That's right, it's me. Yeah. All charges were dropped. Yep, all charges were dropped. Officer, sir, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What have I done? I'm the one that handled that case. Yeah, appreciate you. Swiftness in dropping all that because I didn't needed. drop the charges. Well then, it all worked out in the I end. I thought you were reckless and we're going to get somebody hurt. Well, I think I'm alright and uh, everyone else likes me. And You're uh, alright. Yeah? Yeah, I believe that. It's good. It's nice to be believed. So, what, we, what do you do on Saturdays? You have your day off? I read in silence. <laughs> it's nice. What are you reading? Nice book, novel, perhaps trilogy, yeah, magazines. It's the laws that dictate what is and isn't allowed in the pit. Ah. Let's call it a refresher. Yeah, brushing up, a little studying, that's good. You should take some time off for yourself on a weekend too. Get your day off, read some fun stuff, some fiction. Maybe take up painting. You can do that in silence too. I'm currently reading oh. about at what point can this can be considered provocation or harassment of an officer? Well, you're a really slow reader. I see why you need to do it in silence. I'll just leave you to it. I'll just stand right here. But if you find anything interesting, it's worth sharing. I'm always if you want to go ahead and roll and add 1d6 back in, I'll allow it. <laughs> 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 He's pretty well distracted with his anger right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm rolling uh, seven now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So no ones. That's, I, I don't want yeah, one. No. no. Uh, Sixes no are ones. good. Ones are bad. No ones. Sixes, That's easy. awesome. Sixes. Like that. Oh, that was a yeah. That's okay. We, we were going to lose that one anyway. Okay. Oh. No. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> So yeah, you so have a, got a six. You got a six. I got a six. Right. So just take that one. So what do you find in your dad's room? Uh, mm. I find the uh, security badge that I needed to, you know, get the little boop boop to get up to the, you know, fifth level. Okay. And that is all you find and all you will take. Oh. And also a courier outfit. <laughs> no, no? Okay. And no. a gun. And, and a, a grenade. Gun, and a grenade. Okay. And a lightsaber. <laughs> I forgot about that part. All right. <laughs> Lightsaber. You know, it's okay. I can so you grab, for days. you grab the badge. You see it hiding. Yeah. Uh, I got to be quick about this. I don't want to get caught. Yeah. Just grab it's, the badge. It's in, uh, it's in the coat of his pocket. Now, you also know that that badge will just get you up. It won't get her up to level five. 
But there's got to be some positive to having someone who can hack systems with me, right? If she gets caught. All right. All right, so I've got like a little uh, little backpack with me. I just got my bag, got so, the badge. Yeah. You come out of the, the room. All right. All right, Dad. Uh, You're leaving, right? Oh, don't want to be here. Dad's reading. He actually yeah. wants oh. to do it in silence. In silence. So Good, yeah. yeah. Uh, didn't seem to you know, like it. She, I was she seems to know the rules here. Yeah. So I'm going to let you stay in silence, Dad. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Don't wait up. Walks out. Yeah, let's go. You can leave. Thank you. Thanks. Now. All right. Oh, all right. Go. Off I go. So, walking outside. Seriously, how how are you this positive all the time? Well, who kicked yeah. you in the head? My parents, you know? They, wait, they, they told kicked me. you in the head? Well, maybe. Okay. Right. But, uh, yeah. So, no we're going to. Being down in a situation like this, it's a little grimy as it is. Might as well keep an upbeat attitude. We're yeah. going to cut down to Sector 10 really quick and check in with JR. JR, uh, where did you go after everyone I went else went to, upstairs? I um, the equivalent of the church or the clergy. So, just to make sense of what's happened. They don't allow churches on individual levels. Okay. Uh, only the temple. And it's only open for a certain period of time for certain sectors. Okay, wherever to. he goes to train. So, you're going to go, um, given that it's not a day that you'd be training. Okay. Let's say that there's just kind of uh, a group of clergy that usually wander around Sector 10, always trying to convert, mm -hmm. spread the good word. Yeah. And you go to find them. Sure. To join them. Sure, sure, sure. Um, are you in your full attire? Did you grab your attire? Or uh, are you still in the, the services clothing? No, I, I'm still kind of um, thrown off by everything that's just happened. And I'm just kind of like, I'm trying to think about what he said and ignoring the... Ignoring God, and I'm just trying to just get back to uh, trying to avoid the streets where I know Ronnie and and the company, the old company, kind of roam and, and try to stick through the main streets. And okay, um, so you come across Brother Thomas. <sighs> okay, good. Ah, Brother Reynolds. Brother Thomas, how was the service? <sighs> It was, it was okay. I, I, I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit lost right now. Um, I'm hoping to find some strength uh, within. How may the I be voice. of help? Well, I know this guy, and I thought that he was a good person, and then he, he said he used us, and then he, he said to ignore the voice, ignore. Everything that I've come to love in these past couple of years, and I'm just he confused. lost his way. He did. He did. He did. And and, and how is this affecting you? I have to admit, it's shaken me up. It's. I thought I. I feel like my resolve has wavered from seeing just him and just the two-sidedness of him and that reminded me am i two-sided i am i this the street this you know the street rat that came came from the pit or am i this person i'm trying to turn into now and i, I met up with some, some old associates and am i two-faced am i forgetting who i was and i, I just i just need to hear hear the word of of the voice, and, and, and I think I can um, come Brother back. Brother Reynolds, <sighs> you yes. must keep the faith. Keep the faith. You must believe in your heart what you know is already true. Yes. That we are synonymous with the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. And the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven and the stars. This is not by accident, but by design. design. We have been chosen by the gate yes. to act as a conduit to God, God, to his home in the stars. Yes. Thank you, Brother Thomas. You know this. I know it. I know it often. Don't let heart. your sh faith be shaken so <laughs> easily. I was scared to admit it for a second to you, Brother Thomas, but uh, it's, it's hard when we are living down here in the slums and, you know, we just want to be up in sector two and 
it's hard when you see these people and and you see the acts that they do on other people that I used to do on others too and it just it brought back a lot it brought back a lot I shouldn't be telling you this brother Reynolds but please share anything share the word you won't have to worry about it for much longer it's almost time we'll be joining God soon yes when? How? No when one's... the gate is ready to open. <sighs> it's almost done. <laughs> Stay strong. I'll try my best. I have to admit also that just <laughs> just running into them was <laughs> made my resolve waver. I, I do wonder how how weak it is. I I'm still so new. I, I feel like whatever you think I need to do to. Just always remember he's calling us home. Okay, he's calling us home. He's calling the us earth home. may have been recycled. Mm -hmm. But we were prepared. I'm looking forward to going home. But what do I do if... if <sighs> I'm not out of it just yet. My old... You know, I've told you where I came from. And it doesn't and matter. This doesn't matter. None of this matters. You, you don't matter. I don't matter. Don't matter. <sighs> but what do, they, what do I do when these people come back and try to pull me into these illegal activities and they're, they're thinking of going up to sectors they're not supposed to and, and, and then I, I get these older level sector 10 associates trying to pull me in. Uh, how do I, what do I do? What do I do? You I must feel find really that awesome. answer for yourself. Follow the, path of God. Follow the path of God. Wherever he may take you is where you're supposed to be. Stay strong, brother. We'll be leaving soon. Thank you, brother Thomas. If there's anyone... No, I've said too much already. Please, share. I, I need to hear this. I need, I need some sort of reminder of the faith. I, I, it wavers... In exchange for God's gate. Yes. We have been blessed with the iron. Our health. And heaven's seed, the tree. Help. And we will be returning them to God. If there's anyone you care for in this sector. Get them out soon. Out of sector. Bring ten. them to God. And they can join us. Bring them to God. As someone starts to walk by, he kind of puts you at arm's length and puts a hand on your shoulder. Right, Brother Reynolds. So Brother Thomas, thank you so much for your words. Bring them. I will bring them to God. Okay, well, please. I'm going to continue my services here looking for those. I'll let you do that. I'll, I'll, it's my day off, so I'll, I'll find something to do. Right, well, I will see you soon. Yes. Brother. As That's he then I'm turns right. and walks away. It smells like cult up in here. I don't know if you guys smell that. <laughs> <laughs> and now we go to Sector 9. Now, Sector 9 is the most crowded of all the sectors. It is where the general population of the pit resides. Now, even though it's the most crowded, it's also the most heavily secure. Uh, lots of working security in this sector. And I failed to mention that security wear all black. Um, they have a signia of small horns on the side of their helmets. <laughs> nice. And they carry bats with nails in them. What? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Now, give it an hour. <laughs> tell me a little bit about your uh, living situation in Sector 9. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Well, Sony um, has <laughs> brightly colored her place. <laughs> she was able to uh, trade for uh, not necessarily paint, but uh, let's say a, a press chalk that she put on her, uh, her doorways and um, 
window sills. Um, she uh, also made curtains and the such to give a flowing kind of energy to uh, her place within Sector 9. Uh, she, When she gets home, she's um, humming to herself a, a song. Basically, she's singing the, the note um, that Janice left uh, to herself, um, not completely under her breath, where uh, to best remember the note of uh, the gate, the door, and the lock, and about um, that the end is near, nothing special about us. Trust each other, stop the rocket, close the loop, the gate, the door, the lock. This is how she remembers things by singing it to herself. And so when you get into her spot um, in Sector 9, uh, you see it's a, a hodgepodge of different things that she's collected, um, that she's either bartered for, or traded for with um, knowledge and tales. And um, yeah, it's a variety of different things, things that she feels holds history and importance uh, she keeps within her space. Okay. And as you're just kind of dancing around and singing uh, <laughs> to yourself, which seems you've got a lot of hope for this world, that's uh, you hear a knock at your door. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, coming. Uh, she puts down what she's holding and then uh, uh, looks through. Yeah, you've got like a small people. You look through, you see an individual standing outside your door wearing all black and keeping his head down. He's wearing a long trench coat as he then puts his hand up again and knocks, but he's not looking up. Well, okay then. This is mysterious. She opens uh, the door part way. He kind of pulls his hood back just a little to look at you. You recognize this individual as your main student's um, private helper. Her keeper, we'll say. Uh, you recognize him. Um, you do not know his name, though, as he has never introduced himself to you. Hey, you! Miss Packard. Miss Packard. <laughs> yeah, uh, come, I've been come. sent, I've been sent to collect you. To collect me? Yes. Oh, we're not, we're not scheduled for a, um, uh, we're not supposed to have a session until tomorrow. No, 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 no. Can I come in? This is important. This is... Oh, oh, yeah! You, come on in. Yes. As he comes in from the door, he puts his hood fully down. He kind of dusts himself off, and he's looking around in rather disgust. <sighs> ah, a little bit uh, dusty, huh? Mm. Coming down with the levels, then each level of oppression then hangs itself upon your shroud. Whatever. I was sent to bring you up to bring you up to level four where you must stay uh, where I well I work you will there, be living that is you will, we will be we will be transferring you to live in the school it is Jenna's request I cannot tell you why but Jenna's request is that you are able to continue tutoring her as she has grown quite fond of you for some reason, and if you stay here, I cannot guarantee that in the future you will be allowed back up into Sector 4. Well, that's ridiculous. I work there. Of course I'd be uh, allowed back in. I, I'm very happy that Jenna wants me to be closer to her. She's absolutely my favorite out of um, the people that I've tutored, but I mean, I, I have everything here. Everything is here. Uh, you guy? daft woman, if everyone on this sector is going to die. What? Well, we, we you are being requested to come with me up to sector four, where you will live in the school where you do your tutoring, and that is where you will stay from here on out. This is not a debate, and I would like to keep this quiet. I will, uh, I will pack a satchel with my things. Yes, you will. 
If you would care to wait outside... I will wait here. I will go to my room and pack a satchel very quickly. Please. Um, Sony goes into a room. There's a, there's a beaded curtain that separates. Um, she quickly mm -hmm. packs a satchel. While she's doing that, she writes out a note to her next door neighbor. Um, run. Something is happening. <laughs> Love, okay. Sony. What do you do with this note? She turns it into a paper airplane. <laughs> 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 and does it through her window towards her neighbor's window. You don't have windows. She puts it, uh, she puts it underneath a stone next to her back door. Um, that her and her neighbor have communicated with before. Okay. Okay, so She's you kind of like, now when you open that back door, since apparently you have a back door now, <laughs> do you leave or do you go back in? Uh, go back in. Okay. You know, leave the, the note there for <coughs> the neighbor who will know what to do with it and... Grabs the satchel to then go back out to um, the, the helper. So that child. back door, we're going to call that like a fire escape. These are like, it's not as bad as the slums, but these are apartments on apartments on apartments on apartments on apartments that just go up the entire, each 100 feet built into the side of the mountain around the entire sector. And she's used her specialty red paper underneath the, the rock. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, you make your way back out to the front room? Yes. Okay. Um. He's standing there quite impatient. Uh, are you ready, miss? Yes. I Hopefully I have uh, enough undergarments with me. I wish I had more time to be able to properly do a move. But at this time, I'm ready for my... You have to understand, I don't care. I just don't. Whether you come with me or not, if you resist, that's fine. As long as I can tell the people I work for that you resisted and did not want to come, then it is no longer my problem. But your life matters not to me. And I'm ready to continue to the next chapter of my existence. Great. Follow me. And please, try not to make a scene. Horace, As he puts his hood back up and starts to go out of that location. Uh, and you follow him towards the freight elevators. Um, now run JR, and say the world is ending and see how people react. <laughs> JR, mm. can you roll for me? Yes, I would love to. No, you wouldn't. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I've been here for I just like wanted one to get on the dice cam. <laughs> Naeem, I'm rolling. Six. One. Shit. One. Shit. Two. One. One. <laughs> Burn something. God. I'm new here, but I'm pretty sure that was a bad uh, one. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I, I blame the dice cam. <laughs> uh, I, I choose to burn my my vice. Oh, sorry, my virtue, which is level-headed. Which I'm so. kind of glad to lose that a bit. Man, your dice roll was so bad it got dark in here. I know, right. Oh, that was a six and a ten and a five. Did so you this see that? part of you dies. No, you missed it. One. God damn it. Four. <gasps> Did you not get any sixes? I got a six. We okay. got fire Do we have here. a hope? Do we have any? You hope? have two hope. I oh. choose to use one hope. Yeah. Two. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was a me very under average <laughs> roll for my first dice cam roll. You've been thinking a lot about <laughs> what your brother Thomas said. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you an opportunity here. Okay. What do you do? Uh, an opportunity in terms of what? Up for your interpretation, given the information that I've passed on. I want to send people to God. 
and the best people, the per people that I know to best send to God are the people that are most lost, which are which is Ronnie and the people there. So I go back, I venture to uh, the old slums, the old, the pit rat slum, and uh, I try to make sense of that and Ho and I hope to, s by the end of, by the time I get there, to know what he meant by sin to God. So you make your way through the old slums towards your old friend Ronnie's place. As you get to your, your old hangout, a group of individuals stand and kind of greet you at the entrance. What the fuck do you want? Just coming to see Ronnie. Just I want back in, all right? You going to peddle some of your God bullshit on nah, us? Nah, I'm, I'm past that. Uh, I just want back in. Okay, I'm done with that life. Uh, I just want to see Ronnie and... Another one steps in from kind of behind the others in the front. Ronnie ain't here. Yeah, where's he at? I don't know, he seems to have found himself some magical piece of paper. Running off. Down whatever trail that may lead him to. Got that paper from you, didn't he? Did you come to collect? No, I'm not here to collect, man. I'm, I'm just, I just wanna, just visit old friends, and I'm still like trying to figure out the word of like trying to send them back to God. And um, where am I right now? What, what's the surroundings? Are we inside somewhere or? No, it's kind of outside. A lot of these are tents, shacks, kind of built on top of each other. Do I know these guys? You don't recognize any of them. You part of the the younger crew that that came in? Yeah, what's it mean to you? I'm just saying, I'm I'm pr basically your senior. No. You're a peddler. A peddler. A bullshit artist. A bullshit artist, huh? Yeah, one of those those robe freaks. Now, you ain't welcome here. We know about your types. You ain't welcome here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about it? You're a junior. What are you going to do about it? Out of the corner of your eye, you see one of the others grabbing a bat with nails. Is that all you it's got? It's wrapped in red tape. It starts to drag it across the ground as he walks towards you, making sure it's loud enough for you to hear. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out my place, and I'm I'm just waiting for it. Um, I'm looking around too for weapons. I grew up in the slums, and I feel like if it came to it, I could take them out. Oh, you feel that way? I play it out. He starts to run towards you as you hear the sound, and you hear it lift off the ground. I run at him to tackle him. So you before. immediately yeah. run towards the one who was dragging the bat, and you jump through the air to tackle him. Go ahead and roll. Nice. Yes. Do people normally die early in this? This yes. is this is okay. the pit rat. Six. In, in one. Rolls before. Great. Four. <laughs> one. Three. One. I'm gonna roll my. I'm gonna roll my. I uh, burn do, my. Do we have any hope? You have one hope. No, I'm gonna burn my uh, my vice, was which is unbeliever. Ooh, how am I gonna work that in? Mm. I am. Seem to be questioning your faith. Yeah, I totally am. But at the same time, I'm trying to. I'm kind of lost, and I feel like when he t told me to send them back to God, I felt like there was a part of him saying it might be me misconstruing it based on my past, my dark past. But it might just mean hey, that's sending on you. them them back to God. Three. One. One. Oh, God. I used the two <laughs> hope. Mm, Was it what? You have one hope. Okay. Five. God. One six. One you one. have only one six. One dies out. You are able to tackle the individual who's swinging at you. Now I need you to roll for the other individual who is coming God. at you from behind. As you how tackle... Many, how many dice do we have? Uh, uh, you can five. tell me how you five. tackle this individual. What do you do there? He's younger than me. I grew up in the pits, uh, and that involved a lot of fighting and a lot of kind of gang initiation. So I know how to fight, and he's too. Sl he he goes for the wind up, and he goes. <laughs> that's the like the <laughs> big mistake, the big wind up, and so that gives me the window to come in quick at him, 
and to hopefully like intercept and grab uh, the weapon off him. So you grab the weapon. Okay, well, I'm, you're in a. That's a. You won that dice roll in that oh, one, okay. on one interaction with him. Yeah. So, so I grab. I grab. I basically. He's gone for the wind up. I go in quick at that moment. I've. I've kind of like pretended that I'm just gonna take it. But in the last moment, I kind of go in really quick. And I. He's gone for the wind up. So I've grabbed uh, the bat, and then I kind of like shot about him, and he kind of loses grip. And so I've got the bat now. And I want to use it. I mean. I would have let you use it right there, but uh, it sounds like now you want to use it for the person who's coming up behind you. Sure. So you're, nah. on t you're on top of the guy you just tackled. You've taken the bat yep. from him. Two more individuals are running up behind you. Roll. One. Four. Six. Five. Three. I got more Remove that one. Yeah. Tell me what happens as the two running up behind you go to attack you as you've just grabbed the bat. So I've uh, I just grabbed the bat and I've I've shot a barge the guy who came at me that's kind of like pushed him down on the ground the other guy's coming at me I kind of swing around and then I take his head off with the bat well not I take a big swing so I'm gonna say you swing that bat yep. as the nails collect on the bottom of his jaw oh. as it rips his jaw off of his yep. face um, as he kind of starts choking on his own I what's left of his tongue as it I falls say, back into I send his you throat back, I send you back to God I turn around to the <laughs> other kid. And I say, where's Kenny? You mean Ronnie? Ronnie, sorry. Yeah, where's Ronnie? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Cannot tell me he's not safe so far. <laughs> so he starts to kind of look down. He's following the note, man. What do you mean? He's gone up to a sick to I don't know. He said he's following the note. And you see that he's kind of now motioning oh, that's not good for, for someone else. Like, it's coming from another side. I, and I and this is an old tactic. Like I've seen that. He, you know, when you're outnumbered, you call for for your your brothers, your pit rat brothers. And so I kind of walk out very swiftly. Oh, you walk out? <laughs> <laughs> I know the roads, right? You like, don't walk out. You don't just walk out. Okay. Okay. What These happened? are individuals that are coming up behind you now. Uh, you you've kind of like got your bat up and you see them, but you notice out of the corner of his eye, he's motioning for someone else that's behind you. You have a split second. As this individual coming up behind you, you hear the sound of like, <laughs> and you kind of recognize that as a butterfly knife as somebody's hand as they're coming directly towards you. But before that happens, a sound rings out. An alarm goes off. This alarm is something you've only heard of. It's never been heard in this sector before, so it catches all of you and the group off guard as he immediately stops in his track and looks up. As lights pouring in from the cave walls, the sector walls start like pulsing in, you all stop. This is not something any of you have ever experienced before, ever heard. Attention all, tech, uh, all sectors. Unfortunately, Due to a lowering supply in oxygen, Sector 10 will no longer be functional. It will be closed off from the pit. We're sorry. You feel a rumble underneath your feet. Can I take this moment where everyone's like, I see everyone's kind of going like, what the fuck's going on? And I kind of like... Yes, and it takes definitely, there's a moment, uh -huh. a pause afterwards where no one says a thing. There's a silence, an absolute silence in the entire sector, a calmness. And in the second, the split second that the first rumble is felt, panic ensues, widespread. You from this location can see one of the far freight elevators moving its way up and you recognize brother thomas in his robe as he's rising up into the sky what do you do i run for it i run for it uh the freight elevator to try to get back up because i need to send more people back to god and spread the word and that's that's what i'm concerned with right now fuck these people i've sent one back to god i want to go I, I beeline it to the freight elevator, and I, if I need to, I kind of like, sort of survival mode. I'm pushing everyone 
So you're just pushing people out of the way, running yep. at full speed. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah. ahead and roll for me. How many dice do you have right now? Four. Okay. You just want you just want this candle out, Zach, and you're using me for it. But I'm gonna roll a six like that. Yep. And not let you do it. Do you One believe six. in magic, Mike? Now, people. <laughs> One six. Tell me what happens. I'm pushing everyone, and um, just as um, I, I managed, I managed. I was close enough to the, where the slums were to that elevator that I beat most of the people that are panicking and, and trying to get their bearings. And so I make it to one of the open elevators. Oh, there are no open elevators. You run, and the elevators are lifting, and these people, to even get in, they had to have a clearance that would allow them to leave uh, this sector. You run, and you kind of jump, and you grab onto the bottom nice. of the elevator yeah. as others are starting to do the same. Another individual jumps and grabs onto your legs and is kind of hanging off of you oh, as it's lifting up. Uh -huh. uh, do you, like... I send them back to God. <laughs> so you kick them into the pit as you see their body fall, falling down into the blackness. And other individuals are starting to try to jump on you as you're starting to move up towards uh, Do I still Sector 9. I still got my bat. I didn't drop it. You've got your bat? And so you're kind of like hanging on. Uh, we'll say you use that bat to keep sure. yourself from like... That's what I wanted. Uh, to keep others and from I'm just joining swinging. on with yeah, you. I'm just swinging it. So no one's like trying to... You see the rumbling continuing as you start to see dust <coughs> clouds forming on the outer perimeter as you're rising up. Um, you see up from the corner of your eye... Um, Brother Thomas has gotten to the, the bottom of Sector 9 and has exited that freight elevator. And this one's going up. The individual who is above you as your fingers are holding onto the grate of the freight elevator yep. is starting to stomp on your fingers. Can you roll for me? I really want this candle out. Why does he not like him? Six. One. One. Oh. Six. Oh. Two sixes, two, two ones. Sixes, two you ones. have one hope available. Oh. Uh, man, I want to use my hope, but I'll wait for the next candle. Yeah. Two ones. Oh, God. Oh. Two dice. This candle's gone out. <laughs> Tell me how you get up to Sector 9. How do you finish this elevator ride that you're hanging on to? As you say I was hanging... Um, you're hanging on to the bottom of the freight elevator and through the grate. And yep. he's, there's an individual in that elevator who probably thinks that you're like any other vermin right, from right. Sector I 10 mean, and that you don't have clearance. Like two sixes. And um, your fingers are being stomped on. What do you do? As I'm holding onto the grate, I see when he's about to stand on my finger again, I take the bat with the nail and then I shove it up the grate so he stands on it. <laughs> so his foot goes through the nail as it yep. pierces the top and he lets out a wild scream as he falls to the ground holding his foot and foot, just uh, and so and i can see the bottom of the grate is the bit where the service um elevator the ser where people servicemen um operate on the elevator and so i use the bat and the nail in it as leverage and i crack open the bottom of the elevator and he falls out i climb in okay <gasps> all right, all right okay, you, look up, <laughs> you look up you look up as you're kind of backed into the corner of the freight elevator, <laughs> as you've seen that individual fall just deep into the pit, and as you look up, God you can help. now see the bottom of Sector 9, the opening for Sector 9, is two security guards stand with their bats waiting for the elevator to rise. It's safe to assume that they couldn't see what just happened and what just transpired given their current position, but you are also not clear for Sector 9. He's um. Did I did I mention that his badge fell out of his pocket before? <laughs> I heard that. I heard it. Yeah, they heard it. It was like metal on metal or something like that. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. You gonna now. Okay, so I'm just like I'm just in the corner. He's going to work. Uh, you know what? At the same time, I I go back outside of the bottom of the elevator. I'm just holding on. Uh, I close the bottom of it, so I'm just holding. So on. wait, wait, wait. You were inside, and now you climb up well, the Well, you're bottom. saying, like, there's sec two security that's going to fuck me up if I They're get... I just said they were standing Okay, there. so, um, I tell uh, uh, you... I'm you could say to them. Yep, yeah, yeah, I was just about to. Um, you know, I, I regained my composure. I regained my composure. Um, and I let the elevator ride. 
Okay. What am I gonna do? The freight elevator opens. The two security guards come in. They grab you, pick you up by your arms, and kind of throw you into the dirt. And just as they're raising their bats up, Brother Thomas runs over and kind of puts out his arms. Thank God. Stop. No, stop. This is a man of the clergy. Stop. He's Brother not Thomas. cleared for this sector. You know the rules. Brother Thomas kind of standing between the two of them says, I know the rules well enough to know that I have authority over you in this situation. You will let this man go. He is a man of God. Now, I have a feeling you two have something better to be doing anyway. Move on. As Brother Thomas puts down his hand to lick you, to kind of lift you up and pull you up. Brother Thomas, I sent people to God. I sent, I did what you said. I sent people to God. Yes. I sent them to God. We did. Yes. <laughs> we sent them to God. As you hear this sound of this rumble as then you look kind of over the ledge as you see all of sector 10 dropped into the pit no they're all with god and on that we begin chapter one Um, we cut back to Brady and Buddy. Oh, hey, that's us. I mean. <clears throat> now, you feel this rumble. Did we hear the alarm go you. off? You didn't hear the alarm. Gotcha. But you, so, you know, as to keep from widespread panic, only Sector 10 heard that alarm. Okay. No one else. Now, you felt the rumble. Are we on... Where are we right now? You are currently on Sector 7. Okay, still on 7. Yes. All right. Hey, uh, you're pretty smart, right? I try? Yeah. What was that? That rumble? Yeah, you ever feel that before? Maybe an earthquake? Did we get those? More on Earth? No. Earthquakes? All right. Yeah. I guess that's a thing. Sure. You start to see people coming out of their homes... People who were working the weekend shift have stopped. Everyone's kind of looking around. And just a general kind of confusion of what's going on. Looks like no one else remembers what earthquakes are either. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. That's unsettling. Oh yeah, well, I think we should remain calm, right? Or we regret to inform you Sector 10 is no longer with us. I mean, it's no longer with us. You don't just lose an entire sector. We have a faulty oxygen system. To ensure the survival of the human race, difficult decisions had to be made. This will conserve oxygen and ensure that the rest of us can continue on. Your lives are not in danger. Please remain calm. Sounds like they got rid of a bunch of housing. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say that. Minimizing uh, on square footage? Yeah, you know, that's a positive spin on it. Uh, what if... What if I was to say maybe there was something to our buddy's note? What if something is going on? What if maybe things are about to get really bad? What do you mean? So we get a letter. Yeah. Oh, by the way, no one remained calm. Oh. <laughs> all right, uh, and I... all around you, people are starting to yell and scream. And you see a large group of people 
behind you heading towards your house. My house? Yeah. Your dad is the head of security for the entire establishment, who happens to live in a less fortunate sector. Okay. Um, Looks like maybe your dad's going to have some company for tea. Maybe we should get going before they discover you've taken something of us. Huh? Yeah, uh, actually that seems like a good idea. Um, I would normally ask you right now if you're sure you. I have one badge to get up to five. You don't have one. Are you sure you want to come with me? I don't think down here's any better, but do you want to take a chance? Wait, where are you going? We got to get up to five. Five? I mean, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of panic going on. Yeah, does maybe we like can use that. Uh huh. It's cover. All right. Yeah. You on board? Sure. Okay. All you right. Have any idea what's going on? I think so. Great. At least one of us does. Let's go to the elevator. All right. Okay, you make your way over to the freight elevator. Uh, you're able to use your father's badge to open the elevator and get it moving. Uh, now, given that this is a security clearance badge, it's not uncommon for security to be escorting someone. So the elevator does not send out a warning when you enter with more than one individual who did not have a passcode. And you're able to make your way up to Sector 5. Now, this is, a, again, a slow-moving freight elevator. As you get to this inside this elevator and you look down, you can't see Sector 10. You look down and you notice, you count the levels down and notice it stops at 9 and the blackness starts after 9. That's weird. Do you think they turned off the power down there trying to save some energy? I have a feeling that rumble was something a little bit bigger. And I have a feeling that the friends we left on 10... Well, we might not need two more badges. Who was on 10? You had Sony and the priest dude. Oh, well, I'm sure they can find their way around down there, even if it's a bit dark. Oh, wait, wait up. a second. Hold on. Sony made it to nine, right? She went back to her place? To be honest, I don't even really know where I am right now. Okay, you, you're beginning to be less help, but still cool. Okay. Hey, here's the thing. You're with me. If anyone questions, we're, I'm security, and you're here to work. Uh, and we need your help with tech. Well, I'll come up with a lie if we need to. I'm handy with tools. Perhaps I'm here to fix something. Good. Yeah. Roll with that. Yep. Okay, the freight elevator opens onto Sector 5, Courier's level. Security, as with all sectors except Sector 10, is close by. They see the elevator open and they come towards you. I need you to roll. By the way, yeah, two dice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Where did my dice go, <laughs> man? <laughs> this is why we try to keep as many dice as possible. You I can mean, roll them one at a time if you want, and whatever you want to do. <laughs> That's a one. You got this. And not a six. You have two hope available. You, you can, can re-roll roll both those dice. <laughs> Thank you for the hope. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Chad. Putting it to good use. <laughs> is that a one or is that a six? Nope. Zach's Same happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, Zach's happy. He loves when candles I was go laughing out. because I heard a laugh from the back. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I can talk my way out of this. What do you got? No, the candle. Well. The chapter ended. Uh, now that so you're he calls it now. Yeah. I get to narrate yeah. the next Unless couple Unless you want to burn something for that one. And at this point. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I it's wouldn't. Not worth it. he, right. like, it's, we'll have nine candles after this. All okay. right. We'll have nine dice. Unless yeah, he yeah, kills you're right. you right now. I totally wouldn't have burned it either. So <laughs> <laughs> immediately they start walking towards you as you kind of usher for... Uh, buddy to kind of stand behind you as you go to hold up your credentials and they're kind of walking towards you in a fast space what do you say to them um hey uh we've got uh, uh obviously things are getting a little crazy we're here to check the tech on this level we might have some uh, problem with the oxygen i brought tech here to help where's her clearance she's my guest you don't get fucking guess. Where's her clearance? Do you think that this is a time when we're going to really be working on by the books here? Things are going down. We need to save this entire sector right here. Do you want to tell your superiors why everyone just died on this level? Because we can have and a they conversation. Both, they both look at each other <laughs> and they start to grin and they're like, you're not supposed to be here, are you? Do you know who I am? Actually, sorry about that. It was. I know your daddy must not have filled you in on what was going on today. Oh, he knows your dad. Oh, wow. Everything's going as planned on this level, All right. boy. You sure? Talk to daddy a little bit there. Like I said, 
yes, things are going down. I have had a conversation with my father. He reaches over and he rips the badge out of your hand. Snatchy. I'm sure your dad's going to love to hear about what you've been up to. I think he might have his hands a little full right now. Should we run? Can we get the uh, director on the line? I mean, we should... Uh can we get the director on the line? Am I allowed to make actions even though yeah, we can't roll dice? You nope. can try. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the end of the chapter. He's yeah. Uh, yeah. As they're calling to see if they can get your dad on the line, <laughs> and punch. there's no answer. <laughs> Lightsaber. The other individual, the other security guard, goes and grabs you kind of by the back of the neck and takes one of your arms around and zip ties your hands together oh, as he kicks your legs and makes you fall to your knees on the hurt. ground. Oh, but Maine, you could have honestly uh, just asked me to go down. Onto Buddy. Uh, down kicks you, you down to the to? ground as he's now kind of circling around you as Fatality? his partner is continuing to ask for your father on the, uh, to get your father on the line. Yes, yes no, no sign of the director. Yes, sir, do it. Uh, I guess this is just between us then. <laughs> Looks like it. You little daddy's boy prick. Turning down every opportunity that privilege tried to hand you. You know how I got here? Kissing ass? I fought for it. I earned it. You get to turn it down and then deliver iron just because you want to? Sounds a little bit jealous. Right? Wouldn't want to be stuck in the same little uh, situation like this pissant is here right now. Hey, Take Eric, what do we do to privileged little fucks up here? As you feel a bat <laughs> go into the back of your uh, right leg, as you feel a nail enter <laughs> your calf muscle, as you immediately kind of fall to one leg. Ooh. What do you oh. keep saying? Uh, What? <laughs> yeah. Do you continue? No. Oh, no, I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, look at you! With the, uh, two against one, huh? All right. Feels good, huh? Not a problem. This isn't a fair fight. It's not supposed to be. We hold the power. You don't. How close is he? Doesn't matter. <laughs> he lost this role a long time ago. <laughs> yep. He turns his bat around backwards, hits you in the head. Your world goes dark. You feel a hit in the back of your head. You know, if you want to have a fair fight, we could just have a little armor. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When the chapter ends, all you have is your words, and they might anger him. Gotcha. A light goes out. Oh. The loop you continues like to, to spin the as your world gets a little darker. Mm -hmm. One of these yeah. guys? Yeah. yeah. Nice. We have some truths Ooh. that will help dictate. Oh, uh, yeah, truths. <laughs> we got our dice back, right? Uh, nine. Nine of them back. Uh, nine of them. He, he, gets, my... he gets the one that we lose. Yeah. And right. as we lose, he gets them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. JR could roll a little bit better in the next chapter. <laughs> <laughs> he kept on making He wanted that chapter in it, but it, I, could, I wouldn't let it. <laughs> Truth. As a child, Sony's father delved deep into the history of the pit and of humanity, but mysteriously disappeared without a trace. This fueled an obsession searching for history and truth. Nice. That's excellent. Hmm? Okay, got it. Truth. History. In Brady, uh, in his past, he knew someone in the lower sector that spoke to his heart or something he doesn't wish to say that makes him hate the lower sector. So, we'll say Sector 10, good riddance for you. Uh, whatever led you to that, it appears it's up to you. Truth, feeling. Although he hates it, Brady is finding himself more and more drawn to Buddy. The more he fights it, the stronger the feelings are. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? That buddy? <laughs> She's got an accent. How does anyone have an accent down here? <laughs> You're going to have to ask my parents. <laughs> <laughs> is it true love or is he losing his mind? He's not sure, but he does know he can't fight them for long. 
Great. Just a quick reminder to everyone who might be tuning in. Uh, welcome. This is Tin Candles. It's our horror RPG. That was just the first chapter of this story. So if you just tuned in recently, you grabbed the perfect jumping on point. Um, what you just heard is the chat is able to give us truths, GM powers, all those things. So keep those things rolling, chat. Let's keep that flooding in. This next volume, we only got about 30 minutes left in the show and a long way to go to get this baby funded for the night. So let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. And here we go, right in to chapter two. We open in Sector 4, the temple. Now, this is usually an entire sector just for worship. Each sector has times that they are allowed to come up, and show their love for God. But they're only allowed during those times. Now you, on the other hand, are a teacher here. You have your own private classrooms. As we learned earlier, often to those of a very high status. You've been requested by the highest of status of your students, Jenna, to move up to Sector 4 to ensure your safety. Not long after you arrived at the sector, you heard the call. Now, this sector is remaining fairly calm. The clergy that are there working on this day don't seem too affected by everything that's happened. How do you take the news? Uh, well, I'm trying to talk to the people around me. Um, and it's like, uh, did, did you, you hear uh, something with uh, uh, Sector 10? I mean, it... Uh, that that is right below where I live, and uh, uh, apparently there's something wrong with the oxygen. We we have to get help to them, and and in some in some way. I, did you hear about this? Are they sending help? Do you know? All will be well in due time. Well, it's that for the greater good. That's all well and good, or we can you know get our hands a little bit dirty and and um. As people did in the past, we we help we help our brethren. We help we help the people that uh, that help us continue living. We were chosen, child. We helped ourselves. No one else. Our descendants earn their rightful place here, and we will earn our rightful place among the stars. Okay, there has to be somebody else that I can talk to. Um, so, uh, is the uh, the person that she came up with, are they still leading her? Or did they just yes, kind of leave Yes, they are the, leading uh, you, and they're making your way back towards your new living quarters. Okay. Uh, along the way, uh, the most impressive looking person, like with the most extravagant robes, perhaps, um, then Sony would start accosting them. Like. The second you go towards this individual, hello. Your handler puts his hand in front of you and immediately kind of pulls you back and gives you a look. Oh, uh, mm. no! Mind your place. My place is uh, a teacher and a conveyor. Your of place is you are being saved by a young girl. What is Four that? wishes matter. Yours do not. Well then, uh, well then, perhaps I—that I, is the person that I need to talk to then, and not the the people here that seem to want to be of no help because they feel like it will not affect them in any way. But we are all connected, all Just of us. Come, come on, let's. We need to get you to your new home. She's waiting for you there. She wants to make sure you're okay. Oh, is she there? Okay, that's... Yes, I would love to... Okay. 
Um, it's outside of our, our normal uh, our normal tutoring times. Yes, I would love to, to speak with Jenna. Let's go. So he leads you through the many halls of the churches to a small room. As the door opens, you notice a cot, a Bible, some candles, and that's it. Welcome how, to your new home. How many candles? <laughs> there are nine. <laughs> <laughs> and... Sitting on the cot, waiting patiently, is Jenna. She's about 15 years old. Um, long hair, very expensive and extravagant clothing. Her name is Jenna Anna. Mm. And she jumps up and runs up and gives you a hug. Um, uh, Sony also hugs her and, and uh, ruffles her hair. You know, close relationship. Yeah. I was so worried when my dad, I heard my dad talking about what was going to happen. I had to make sure you were okay. Oh my God, Ch- Jenna, I, I, I believe in a, an entire sector has, uh, has, has been released into the pit. I, I, I believe that that is something that uh, perhaps happened. Right now they say that it is a, a malfunction, but when was there a, a malfunction? And no, I'm there sorry, was no, I'm there was no malfunction. Then then you 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 know you know exactly what i what i feel what i feel has happened we have to we have to help the what people what do i feel yo you're okay you're yeah. okay we we got you out i got i got you out but you're okay now you can keep tutoring me everything's fine well well jenna think think about the lessons that we that i have taught you and that what i what we've learned, I mean, it isn't enough for just a single person to be okay. It, it has to be more than the individual. It has to be the community. Uh, if, well, if my s- community is fine. Well, your community... The people I care about are okay. Okay, well, Jenna, I, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate what what you have you've done but also there are a number of other people in say sector nine i don't know people in sector 10 but that oh, they'll mean be going that soon i'm sorry what they'll be going soon so i had to get you out so fast uh jenna um i I'm, I'm not completely certain if we've covered this in in your studies of the the different sectors but sector nine is where the general populace of the workforce lives. But if we don't need the workforce anymore. They've done the work. What are what are what are you talking about? The work's done. Do you mean on What what is it that you're talking about that the work is done? I mean, you tell me these stories all the time. I do, and I think I know what you were talking about, and I am your teacher, and I would like for you to tell me. The synchronicity. It's finished. The ship is... In a couple weeks, we're going to launch it into the gate, and we'll have a new home. But I want to make sure that you were safe here, so you could come with us. My dad doesn't know. I, I don't think he'd care, really, but... Right, your father. Um, are you telling me after all of this time that there isn't room for all of us on this ship? The from the tales, the synchronicity is is as large as it is long, and it is the arc that is supposed to take us into the stars. I, I mean, I've never heard it called an arc. Well, I might be, you know. You know, extrapolating a little Sounds bit. Sounds like something the voice would tell people just to keep him from causing a ruckus, you know? Yes, well, we take things from many different areas of study. We can't just let the people in the sectors below us, five through nine, just die. But they have to. They don't have to. No, but Jenna. they do. They don't have to. They are people just like us. They but just what do you think powers the ship? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What? The ship. We need power. I w- 
would assume, a type of combustible fuel. Such I as mean, I don't really understand how it works. It all seems pretty mumbo-jumbo to me, but... I don't know. There's the thing in the bottom of the pit, and, like... If, you know, it's hungry, and if we give it stuff, a lot of stuff, it'll release enough energy or power, whatever it is, to get us through the gate. There most definitely has to be another way than that. If there is another way, or we have time to find another way that is atrocious, Jenna. It's not my idea. I'm not saying it is, darling. This has been m moving forward for centuries. I have nothing to do with this. Just because it is a type of tradition does not make it right, Jenna. Okay, but that's how I survive. That's how you survive. That's how the human race survives. God is calling us to the stars or whatever. I don't really care. It just means we live. <clears throat> it isn't enough that only we live, though, Jenna. I, I you know, uh, are you are you hungry? Do I have anything in here that I can um maybe uh some uh Jenna punch. throws a glance at her protector, her <laughs> her bodyguard slash nanny, uh, and he kind of leaves the room. Look, I know that this is a lot. This this is more than I've a I've wanted to tell you for a long time, but I'm not supposed to. But things are going to be changing quickly now, you know? And Dad says that, you know, with the help of the clergy, we're all going to, you know, stars and stuff. And this is a most unwelcome surprise, Jenna. Th this is this is the, the end of of what we know, the end of a lot of people's lives. We are playing with people's lives. If we have a way to, oh God, I, I have you eaten today? I, I, I just, and what, what is your, your nanny's name? I, I never really. That's Jake. Jake, you would mm -hmm. think I would remember that. I forget his name all the time. Uh, Jenna, do you under, do you understand that it, that this isn't right? This isn't the way that it should be for us to sacrifice others to You power? know, in some of those books you let me read, at a time there were 10 billion people on this planet. That is true. They're not here anymore. We are. That wasn't us making a decision not to help per se oh it's so tricky it's so tricky jenna to <laughs> but really what if it was our decision i mean all those books you show me it seems like it's our fault right we killed the earth blah 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 there's a lot of scientific evidence that if we had taken you know precautions early on but we but didn't but we didn't we continued forth on a disastrous path, which is why we should learn from that history. Now, Jenna, we should not continue down a disastrous path. So we keep living in a hole in the ground and humanity just eventually dies out? Well, it, it doesn't have to be, you know. This seems to be quite the dilemma, doesn't it, Teach? Okay, Jenna, I know that tone of voice. Um, there is a gray area that we could easily try to find a solution at, but right now, um, a sector has just been dropped into a pit, and yeah, apparently we... I'm a bit frazzled right now, to be I completely tell. honest. I thought you'd be more excited that I saved you, but apparently I, not. I am, I am so... I am so appreciative, darling. I am very much so. I know that it was something that you didn't have to do and it might actually be something that you might get in trouble for but it's just i have friends i have friends on sector nine and and new friends that i i i have made today i i already lost someone today i i told you about um my friend janice he's he's delivered packages here before yeah he's weird he's always like hovering around 
Well, he's a very curious type. It's okay to be inquisitive. Mm. I just... This is a lot, Jenna. Well, I think I'm going to go home now. Um, you're welcome. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm, I am excited still, though, that you get to keep being my teacher. Of course. I will always be your teacher, Jenna. You're my favorite student. I, I always tell you that. This is a very dark day. Uh, I, okay, I believe uh, you. Uh, uh, bye. I'll see you for class on Monday. And she exits, and you're left alone in this room. And we're going to cut to Sector 3. The two of you start to come to in kind of a rush as water is splashed on your face. <laughs> Standing before you is your father. Oh. His eye on the left side, his left, is uh, swollen shut. He's got scratches up and down his arm. And he's walking with a limp. Uh, have you had a rough day? Morning, Dad. Almost maybe rougher than ours? So what did you do? What did I do? I'm sorry, what? What did you do? You know, I was having a lovely dream and then just kind of got some water splashed in my face and now I'm here. How about you? How's your day going so far? It doesn't look like it's so good. Meet the neighbors? Yeah. Yeah, you see, I was about to clock in for work right after you left and I couldn't find my ID, which made my timing a little off. Mm. So thanks for bed? picking that up for me. Ah, glad I could help. Yeah. What's your story? Seems to be a bit of a misunderstanding. Actually, uh, got a little bit lost. Stop was looking at him. What's your story? I was just going to go try and fix something. Something's broken. I'm a good person to fix it. I was in the area, just responding to a call for help. On which sector? Well, actually, I didn't know. I was just asked to come come with a man who seems no longer to be with us. Bit of a shame, that. Oh, a man that no longer seems to be with yeah. you asked you for help yeah. in another sector that you didn't have clearance for, and you just thought that was okay. Well, it seemed like there was a bit of an emergency going on. So An uh, emergency? Yeah, bit of a rumble. Right, you were instructed to stay calm. Did anyone officially ask for your services? Yeah. He doesn't seem to be here right now, though. He oh, he just happens and, uh, to not be with you. Be good if he was here. You could ask him questions, but uh, can't do that, can you? So, sorry about that. Just be on our way. I don't know what's wrong with her. I can't. Do you know where that man went? Because he's gone. Yeah, he's no, uh, we we were, you know, you know, um, Officer uh, Officer Jones. You know, Officer Jones. We were. Uh, oh my God. You know. <laughs> Old daddy-o. I would really appreciate if you stopped lying to me right now because it's taking everything in my power to keep from having you locked up. I am trying to help you right now well, and then keep what do you my want? son what out do of jail. What you want right now? I don't know what you were up to. What in the hell you think you're doing? Obviously, there's... If I'm uh, going to keep putting my fucking neck out on the line for you. People are dying. There are layers of this place that are dropping off. Seem like going further up was a good idea. How about that? You were fine in our sector. Was I? Yes. You don't look so fine. Have you put any ice on that eye yet? It's getting a bit swollen. Yeah, told you she was smart. Where were you going? I know when you're lying to me, son, I've caught you lying for years. This is no different. You know, my, uh, my friend that died, Janice, just uh, was heading up to their bunk. Just uh, grab some of their stuff. He said he could ha we could have his books. You know how you like books? We Janice. like books, too. Yeah, reading. Janice wanted you to go up to his bunk. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ask a security personnel to do that for you? You know you're not allowed up there. There's a lot going on right now. Resources are a bit limited. Thought we could just get it done ourselves? You need to stop talking. All right. 
I thought you were doing great. Thanks. Mm-hmm. You know proper procedure. Yeah, I know procedure. And especially because of me, you cannot just be seen breaking that procedure. I'm not breaking procedure per se. I'm just, you know, trailblazer like my daddy before me. You do realize how serious this is. Is it? Is it? Look, we are disposable to these people. You need to fucking understand that we are disposable. And we are in their favor right now, which gets us a fucking pass. But if you keep rocking the boat, we will lose that pass. Well, if I've got so a, fall in line. If I've got a pass, then why are we detained right now? Oh, you take after your mother. You're so thick. Don't Just you talk about her. You're alive. And we will remain to be alive if you just follow orders. Can you please, for the love of God, do that? All right. <sighs> Buddy sticks with me, though. Fine. I will get you a security escort to Sector 5. You will follow the proper channels. Cannot be causing a ruckus right now. All because you got daddy issues. It's really weird when your dad tells you that. <laughs> You're free to go. Like With that? an escort. Copy. Sir. I don't ever want to see you again in my entire fucking life. Is that clear? Like, never again. Can I talk now? Ever. He you can respond that yes, that is clear. Yeah, it's fi that's fine. Yeah, it's all right by me. Get out. Go. All right. Get out. All right, let's go. All right, thanks. Can you take S the it's a little bit of... Still stuck. Get just... out. Okay, all right. You get up with a limp. Mm. You've been bandaged up. But it ripped through some of the muscle. Any rolls that you do that involve movement will be at less one dice. Gotcha. So fighting, running, <laughs> climbing. Okay. All scotch. <clears throat> As you exit the interrogation room, Officer Eric, who zip tied you up and hit you in the back of the leg. Ah, uh, good old Eric. Grinning at you. It appears I'm your escort. Great. Sector five, shall we? Yeah. yeah you always you came off as a, you know, pretty little escort. I think that was a prostitute joke. <laughs> he leans in and gets really close to your nose. Before I cut this, uh, before I cut these off, are we going to have a problem? Not today, Eric. Not today at all. But uh, cool. the lady asked you a question. He reaches over and he uncuts hers. As he goes to uncut your ears, try to keep up. Let's go. All right. He likes his job. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a passion for your work. Ain't that true. All right, let's go. All right. So you begin making your way down from Sector 3 to Sector 5. On your way out of Sector 3, this is the first time you've ever been up here, obviously. You're surprised to see it's kind of casual. Lots of card tables, lots of places for people to hang out. And then you'll just randomly walk by a wall of weaponry. A lot of it homemade. Seems uh, <clears throat> very little iron can be spared for something like weapons. A lot of it pieced together in a very hodgepodge kind of way. Uh, okay, so you make it down to Sector 5. Um, the carriers seem to be back to work. It's kind of unclear to you how long you were out and how long you were inside the detention center. And you're making your way towards Janice's uh, house. So, uh, where does this guy live, anyway? You know, uh, down here to the left. If you want, just, uh... You're not getting rid of me. Alright, cool, come on. <laughs> How'd you, uh... What's with you two, anyway? What do you mean, with us? 
Yeah, you know, just uh, we lost a friend today, and we're just uh, mourning over a friend. Come on, you've heard her talk. What? You were mumbling her name when he knocked you out back there. Mm. Whose name's that? Your name. But you know, if you ever Buddy. Get... Buddy. Buddy. All right, oh. let's just get to where we need to go. Okay. Sounds like you're a little bit worried about me. That's nice. Yeah. This. Shut up. No. Well. Just stop you... talking. You're just always talking. How do you have an accent? No one else has an accent. What you talking about? You hear the I sound of beep as the security guard kind of hits the door as it comes open. Books, right? Yeah. 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 You know what's funny about my accent? What? It's because my parents had one. That's why I've got one. Really? Yeah, it works like that sometimes. Eric, why don't you tell me about your job? You seem to like it very much. Why don't you go get those books? Why don't you tell me about that job you like so much? What's your favorite part of it? Perhaps day of the week? Do you get a day off as well? Handcuffing girls. It's bit, I mean, everyone has their kink. Everyone has something they like in the I bedroom. I my don't head they? back there like, hey, what? No, I'm just talking about private issues. Can you roll for me? <laughs> okay. Hmm? All right, not horrible. Do we have okay. any hope? You have five hope. Oh. Nice. God, Thank you. Yeah, we're going to re-roll those ones. I got a six sitting there, so that's nice and pretty. How many left. ones? Two. No ones. No ones now. No ones anymore. Too hard. All right, what do you find as you're searching around? Uh, so I find those four badges. Just like that? <laughs> they, uh, okay, so, uh, so I'm searching around the room. Uh, they're in the bookcase. i going through the books because I know I'm going to need to leave with some of these. But, uh, next to it I see, uh, the, one of the, the, uh, pieces of wood on the mm -hmm. wall. Looks a little shifty. So I kind of, like, tug at it a little bit. Pulls out. Reach my hand in there. Damn it, there they are, four badges. Maybe there was a little truth to this. So as you pull out those four badges, you notice there's some other stuff behind there. Mm -hmm. Some papers, and a gun. books, things like that. Ah, you missed that part. Damn it. And <laughs> you pull them a out. Stun gun. And you see the badges, but then underneath, on all these different pieces of paper, you see weird kind of imagery. It's very old. Like, you haven't seen this kind of stuff in a really long time. It appears to have been printed on paper... It's very faded. Uh, some of it's behind lamination as if to preserve it. Like some ancient hundreds of years old documents. Um, one of them looks like this. Hmm. I've seen that before. I'm blind. What does that look like to you? I will give you one later. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it's got like a bunch of symbols on it. And it, the alphabet. So it appears to be a alphabet of some sort. But also there's things written on it like the gate, fawn. Lock, voice, death, door, worship. As you're looking at these symbols, something stands out to you. You've seen all of them before. They're the symbols that signal each and every sector. You just assumed for years they were used for some sort of identification. Wasn't really sure what, you know, it came from. So you're surprised to see there's an actual alphabet that goes with it. Um, a key. Oh. You also see... Anything, uh, maybe like a bludgeoning items by any chance? No. Okay. You see an image. It seems as if it was taken by some low-quality imagery tool that looks like some sort of mushroom cloud like an image taken from a distance. And within this mushroom cloud, you see this shape. This shape has these long tentacle-like arms kind of moving out of the cloud as they're like reaching off into space. The picture itself looks as if it was taken from the edge of the atmosphere that you've read about in the history books. Um, but the first thing that makes you kind of stop when you see this image is on the outer edge of this picture you see blue sky, water. And you notice that that was the moment before it all left. These are things you've only heard tales of 
but never even got to see an image representation of it as all of those things were destroyed years Son and years ago. Of a bitch. And at the moment, ah, that is all you find. But as you get up and you go to exit, you see on the back wall of the room, scraped into the wall is the words this in capital letters over and over again all over the wall. Funny how I missed that the first time. <clears throat> all right, so I uh, fold that up and I... Uh, I put it in my shoe, actually. Uh, I've got the, the four badges. Uh, is, there, is there any tape in the room? Tape? Wait, do, oh, do I still have my bag? I had a bag earlier. I have my bag. Mm. <laughs> You're learning. He's learning. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. Uh, Big learner over here. So uh, I, um, I take the... Ooh, okay, here we go. So <laughs> I take one of the thicker books uh, off of his shelf and uh, using a knife that's sitting there, uh, I actually carve in the middle of the book, carve out a little hole in okay. the middle of the book, throw those pages away. While this is all happening, we cut back to you having a conversation <laughs> with this guy still. Since you've had to keep him occupied for a little while. Can you roll for me? <laughs> I'm just saying, I didn't have any ones. Oh, two sixes, one one. We have Not hope. Bad. I'm gonna re-roll that one. You have three one. hope. Three so one, two left. That's six. another six. There we go. Three sixes, no one. Oh, now he's okay, in love with you. You go ahead. Run this. What do you? What do you? So it looks like your boss gets a Saturday off. But what days do you get off? What do you do in your spare time? It looks like he likes reading books. Books are very good. Do you like reading too? Do you like watching other things? Perhaps no. you're a writer. You like writing. You're creative. I uh, no, I don't. Painter. No, I'm, I'm a, I'm a cop. I. Yeah. What do you do in your spare time? Everyone has a hobby, right? Everyone's got something to do in their off time. I drink. Drinking's good. What's your favorite drink? I like beer. My name's Bud Winnie. Do you know that? It's a beer. And my parents named me after that because, uh, you know, got down to it after a few. Here I am. So, what's your favorite drink? They named you after the drink they were having. They did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that explains a lot, actually. Yeah. It's a good story, isn't it? Think she kept drinking through the pregnancy? I mean, probably. <laughs> Oh, very hard workers drink a lot, don't they? Keeps you happy. I have a few. What's yours? You got a favorite drink? You go into the bar? Are favorite you drink? done? <laughs> don't worry about him. What are you doing? Are you done? Do you perhaps get Sunday off? I lost a friend today. Can I mourn? All right, get get the fuck out of here. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of this sector. All right, I walk in. I'm putting books into my bag. All right, so you're like quickly struggling. Put them in as you walk out. Yeah. Move it. Whatever. All right. Still don't know anything about you. A bit mysterious. Give a I like that. Dark stranger. As I Eric. walk by her, I just give her like a like a fuck look. Yeah. So let's cut for our final scene <gasps> back to good old JR <laughs> talking to Brother Thomas. <sighs> well They're all with God now. Thank I'm you. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> what now, Brother Thomas? Now, I think it's important that before too long, we move on up. But maybe we should check and see if there's anyone else here that needs to be returned to God first. Yes. 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 Who did you have in mind? <laughs> There's a woman here. A teacher. A teacher? Yes, she spreads lies about the church, about our history. I think it's important that we show her the way. It's definitely a different teacher, don't worry. Uh, what's, what's her name? Oh, you know her. Okay. You were with her earlier today. I was wrong. Miss <sighs> Packard. She seemed very nice. Nice 
doesn't matter. Nice doesn't get you closer to God. Death gets you closer to God. Yes. And so once we send Ms. Packard to God, we move up. Yes, then I will let them know our work is done. Let her know. The voice. <sighs> the voice. The Cardinal himself. How did you speak with the Cardinal personally? One day you will too. You have access to level two? One day you will too. Are you coming with me? To I think that's wise. Okay. Uh, Let's go find Yes, Miss Packard. Yes. Let us... And bring her to God. Send her to God. And on that note is where we will end this week's episode ah, of Tin Candles okay. The Pit. I got another two hours. You guys got another two hours. Yeah, <laughs> <two hours. laughs> um, right? So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Oh thank, for thank you. Us. Thank you. Um, thank now, you for having me. This uh, We did get another truth. Uh two truths mm. that will go into play next week at the beginning of the next episode um, one of which turns out Brady has more daddy issues than he thinks that no. isn't his real father oh, oh. do I know this oh. uh, apparently not okay uh, oh, if that doesn't uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, so real dad question mark Yikes. great that's awesome uh, the next one is truth Buddy's always had a talent for hacking, but it doesn't always work out exactly how she wants. She actually thought she was setting herself up as a courier, not a forklift driver. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's Fun good. Stuff. Yeah. Woo. All right. Thank you all so wow, much. I want to do a really quick, uh, we like to give a real quick shout out to all the individuals who contributed to tonight's show through their tips, um, through their subscriptions. So, um, you know, we're just going to give a real quick round of applause and shout out to everyone tonight. Um, hi, Rez Mikey. Thank you so Here's much. Here's Mikey. Hey. Uh, thank you, PR Fan 2002. Round of yeah, applause. Yeah, yeah, fan. For Shadow Uzumaki, Woo. Sailor Aurora, Mexi uh, Mexican awesome. Robin, yes. Jake yeah. Crystal, Robin. Hank 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 Haywood, no. Sarah White 42, Beauty and the Beast, Make Sage Utopian, Kaika, uh, Gaika, Beauty and the Beast again, and Jay Pistol. For our Jay subscribers Pistol. tonight. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Uh, yes. Meaningless yes. words. Thank you so much for your subscription. Thanks, uh, Modern words. Chow, thank you for your subscription. Oh, yeah. Yes. If you like this content, uh, please do throw us a subscription. You can do mm. it for free with Twitch Prime. And make sure to stick around. Coming up next is Perception Check. It's our RPG show with puppets. So you don't want to <laughs> miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so Thanks, much, Jevin. Joshua, for coming Very out. Glad to be here. Um, we will see you next week and hopefully you'll survive again. Uh, <laughs> nice. I'm going to do it. <laughs> you're, 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 getting, you're learning. You're learning, learning. Like, you gotta, I like, missed the gun in the beginning, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, you did. A couple. Yeah, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four sixes. Oh, my Guys, God. Guys, I'm, I'm so excited, too. I didn't get to use them tonight, but I'll get to use them next week. Oh, <laughs> the mystery mechanic. I picked these up oh. at Gen Con. No, no, no. Oh, I what is these, it? I picked these up at Gen Con. It's literally just an artist deck huh? of fucked up scary things. Oh. And it was like this guy was oh selling gosh. them for GMs, and he was like, "You can just <gasps> hold this in your hand if you need inspiration." Whoa. And I was like, Get that. "I was like, this is so much better than the fucked up images I print off of Google." <laughs> 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 so we'll have some really crazy monsters coming out probably oh next my God. week. It's gonna be a lot Excellent. of fun. That, that really along crazy. with you know like <laughs> murder clergy. I know. I didn't. Trying to take I didn't know what was gonna happen, but then well, he pushed it that way, and it was just like I didn't know. Actually, I had no idea what was gonna happen. It just totally went that way. Oh my I did. God. I was like, uh, I'm just. Gonna gonna send I'm the gonna God. wait. I'm gonna see Jeez. and see what comes up. Kinda, I'm gonna follow it through. And cr and, and, and Zach was like just the like one guy my character likes too. Oh okay. Man. <laughs> I had no idea that was gonna happen. It just went there. I just rolled it. Rolled with it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll 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 see. Yeah. Because I'm sure Sony has. I, I don't hidden know. Talents. I don't know what's gonna happen either. She sorry. might have hidden talents. <laughs> no, that's a game where you like like you magically get magic powers, right? And then like I can like. It's happening. Okay. It's happened, but now that I know you want it, not for Alan. Now I get it. For me you to wait for next week. For me to defend myself <laughs> somehow. <laughs> oh, somehow. Man. Yeah, you got oh. like the vertical. Why did I choose a teacher and not like a a, a, a thief? Or Maybe something. you're a teacher uh, of Ditsu. You're a tutor of the most powerful mm. young girl in the entire pit. I think Networking. you're going to be okay. Wow. 
Uh, guys, thank you so much. Thanks. It's who you know. Come yeah. back next week at 6 p.m. It's going to be a lot guys, of right? fun. Nice. Uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And stick around. Mm. Enjoy these clips while we set up for our next show, Perception Check. Stick around. <laughs>